One, two, three. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. Try to keep your fingers straight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Skyler. <laughs> Cole is really bad at putting things on shelves, which isn't true. I'm the bad one at putting <laughs> things on shelves. Cole has like... Very weird, pristine methods of putting things up on the walls, and it's actually, it actually works. You should have seen how those three shelves that he put up recently, well, months ago, he the way that he <laughs> measured was, yeah, yeah, yeah. was very, great. it was very, um, what's the word? Jank. But worked. What, what was it that I used? I used a couple <laughs> random boxes. You used a random box and then one Pokemon game <laughs> to, like, because I remember it was like this, and you're like, yeah, yeah that should be good. yeah. <laughs> It was great. Yeah, it worked out. <laughs> it's all even, too. Welcome, everybody, to Talking Rad, episode 95, Without Thane, the first podcast of many, what? sadly, Without Thane. Look, there's no no spots over you there. Forgot he's, you forgot he's there. Here, you put that over there or something. There's no like spots there. over there. Yeah, what wh- happened to the frame? We fixed it because there's nobody there. Yeah, I, I made a last-minute decision where I'm like, you know what? Thane, since you're not here, I don't want to remind everybody that you're not here, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on the camera. Yeah, but you guys didn't do that last week, did you? Well, because you sit in the middle. Oh. That's what, fair. What we, I didn't watch did, the no, video. I had what no What we could idea do with the bottle line, we could have done is just zoom in on our faces, and then it's not zoom in on his. Yeah. We could have done that with just one camera. So just have use the same camera, but just like copy it three different times so that it's zoomed in on... My face, your face, and Thane's face. They exactly. just paste them all together. Yeah, so then you don't even know. I listened to the audio version of it, though, so I wouldn't have even have known. I want to ask everybody, do you guys listen to the audio version? Or do you watch on YouTube and then just listen anyway? Unless you're like a true a rad catian and watch um, the f- videos, the full video. I, they, I know some of them do because they were complaining. They're like, yeah, why do you get a better camera that doesn't cut off every 30 minutes? I don't know why yeah. it does it, all right? Jeez. <laughs> can you just leave it? Yeah, no, leave I think you just can't. I just think Canons don't do that. So yeah. we could we could try getting like you a Sony or something. You can't, Tim. There's some really good Sonys. I'm no, they're at. they're phenomenal. There's another one called a Lumix, which is a 4K camera for like yeah. 400 bucks. <clears throat> Dang, 400? Yeah. 4K, That's not bad. 4K. I mean, here's, if we were to save up, I mean, I believe. But here's cool. my question, though, is... Our, it's not a problem, but it can be. Is the more resolution, the bigger our files are going to be. And oh we, yeah, we already have massive files, and we just record in 1080. Massive. Because uh, like each one of like if we were recorded with no nah, the webcams not that's too low, isn't it? Well, we, I mean, if you want to go for that crappy aesthetic, it's cool. Well, I've got this, and then I'll just throw like a VHS I have this on it. I have, well, <laughs> I have like the two, yeah, 2020. Too. Like it's like it's like marked, it's dated. It's got like 1120 of 2020. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like in that amberish <laughs> orange yeah. reddish color. Yeah, it's just burned yes. into it. It's burned into it. It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I've got that white. Old hey guys, white cam we're just we're spitballing here. We never you never know we're what we're gonna do to for the, next we're year. We're gonna be the true V. You never know. VCR gamers, bro. VHS gamers, whatever the heck you guys are going to You call never it. know what's going to happen Shh. next year, guys. We're, we're going to keep you guessing. I, I have that white camcorder if you want to try it. I mean, I can art, I can show you what it looks like because the first season of the podcast, the thing I did, we had a three-camera setup, and that was one of them. Yeah, that was our wide-angle camera. It was really bad. I like how you put in the effort to have a three-camera setup, though. That was cool. It, it took so freaking long to edit those because Thane and I would sit legit and watch. That's why we went from an hour and a half to 40-minute episodes is because it would take us... Probably double that because we'd have to watch, and then as soon as I start talking, we'd cut the camera and then go to me. And so you do a live edit, basically. Well, not a live, but you would do like something similar to a live edit. Pretty much, but there's a way to do it now where instead of having to cut each camera, you can set scenes in Adobe to where it's like, okay, I want it to show camera one right now. I mean, you'd have to set yeah. each camera yeah, 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 to, yeah. to whatever. So then all you have to do is just press numbers instead of cut the video every yeah. single time. You just be like, okay, camera one. Oh, it's Cole's talking. Camera two. Yeah, that's that's basically TD technical director stuff. Yeah, but I'm saying Adobe that's does cool, it. Though. Yeah, Adobe does it in the <laughs> program, so you could do it afterwards. Obviously, we would like to get to the point to where Jamie behind the camera could like, you know, we have four different cameras or three or whatever the hell, and he would just punch in. We'd be like, "Yo, Jamie," we'd have earpieces and stuff. We'd be talking to him. We wouldn't be able to talk to him. We'd have to have like a a TD and then he could talk to us, the producer. Or, or what we could do will be a funny idea. This isn't related. You can say something else. No. It's kind of related. Go ahead. Okay. So what we could do is 
we have um we have uh like three or four different cameras but each time it cuts away to someone else the quality gets slightly worse <laughs> so by the end of the by the end of the podcast it's like it's like a flip phone from 2000 flip phone oh from 2008 goodness. it's like just so blurry and pixelated it's like you can barely tell. you can like see like the darkness of their eyes <laughs> but that's about it you don't know like what's going on it's almost like it's like blurred it's, out or something or censored yeah. it's like one of those things where Watching Shrek, but every time he says this word, it speeds up. <laughs> it gets yeah. Every time yeah. he says swamp, yeah, it speeds up. Want to know another one? That, I, I like that, and then it kind of just deteriorate, deteriorates yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole the whole show. There's I a like nine that. hour compilation of Lord of the Rings where it's every time Sam takes a step, he says, "This is the farthest I've ever been from home." <laughs> so it's like nine hours. Oh every my time, God. every time Sam takes a step, it cuts to that. Oh, that's takes horrible. Another step, cuts I couldn't. To that. I couldn't do that. <laughs> that's I funny though, because. It's not wrong. Dude, who, who in the world? <laughs> nine hours? You edited a video for nine okay, hours. Here's the real question. They How must long? have gotten paid something. They had to. Have. <laughs> that's that's. Oh. How long does it take to get to the time that he actually says in the actual movie? Uh, well, it doesn't matter when he says it. It's every time he takes a step. No, I know, but like, it's gonna build up to the point where he would have actually oh, said it in the movie, um, and they won't have to cut it. I think probably <laughs> thirty, <laughs> around thirty minutes or so, into the real movie. Yeah. So into this cut, it would be like six hours. So would it be double though? Because it would Sam would take a step and say, "This is the farthest I've ever been," and then he takes another step and he would just say it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, people are awesome. That's all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say on that one. I couldn't do it though. There's also like an easier one would be like there's like a ten hour loop of Gandalf just bobbing his head. Dan, 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 dan. Dun, 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 like with the saxophone guy. Yeah. It's like a ten hour dun, dun, but it's just Gandalf bobbing his head. So it's like that new dun, dun, cat dun, dun, meme where the cat's like <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's like, funny. They like it's like rotoscoped cat and you can see the cat <laughs> it's pasted over everything. I it's like, like some music playing. I like that cat. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys seen have you guys seen the critical <laughs> memes? I know it's older, but critical's like, Yeah yes! baby yeah! <laughs> Or he does yes! that. You seen the one where his like his face like opens up. You seen that it gets all like uh, glitchy. I seen that. Yeah. yeah, it's kinda scary, <laughs> but I think it's funny. <laughs> there was one It he looks was like saying. a horror movie. Like his yeah. mouth opens up and it's just oh there was one of the yeah baby that he was talking about. He's like, like Yeah, there was a about. there was a yum shot of that where he's like, Yeah, baby and then Oh gosh! <laughs> Gross. Charlie was just talking about it, and he's like, "Yeah, that's cool. The meme's dead, though, guys." Gross. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, now I feel like it's cool to talk about it because the meme's dead and all." Uh, some of them made me laugh. There was a yum shot where somebody shot a little yum in my mouth, and <laughs> I'm like, "Wow, Ugh. wow." Do you think we're? I don't. Do you, well, okay, here's a better question. How long do you think it'll take before people start making just horrible fanfic of us? Like, I know somebody already did. I think it was um, Wolf made it like a weird, or maybe it's Finn that made a weird sexual fanfic of us. I hope it wasn't Finn. I was in the Discord. <laughs> I read it. Wolf. Probably Wolf. I think it was because Wolf would it. make up the stories. I haven't seen Wolf in a hot minute. Yeah, Wolf hasn't been around for a second. Is it? We have to, we have to message him. Huh. What are you? Oh, because he has a lot of accounts. So yeah, yeah, I don't know which one Wolf it's is not anymore. Destructor. Not destructor. Okay. Wolf. Wolf was the one he he would come in and be like this is the very bold assumptions. Be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're yeah. uh, you're not very friendly and you're not very talkative. You just yeah. say st- what he, he said. I talked too when much. It, yeah. That's like something that's like uh, I don't know if that's very true, but Skyler talked too oh, much. Oh, there was something he said. I think he on one of the Mario videos, either Mario Galaxy one or two. He low key rose to me, and that's how I became plaid shirt guy. Yeah, I remember that. And cameraman. Um. Yeah. Wow. It's kind of fun to like sit and think back. Like, I guess this year's almost over, and I don't really want to reminisce now because I want to do like a the end of the year podcast episode that we do would be a cool reminiscing. But it's really interesting to think back on this year and like how far we've come and the people we've met and the videos we made and every hour we've freaking streamed. K. Rob Thomas. We've been on. He's a good guy, by the way. <laughs> Rob Thomas. Like why did you call him Rob Thomas? Because he did that song with the Matchbox Twenties. Let's see oh, how far oh we go. <laughs> Is that a bit of a reach? Do you like, okay, Mr. Matchbox. Hey, do you like, do you like you Rob that. Thomas? <laughs> in, do you that. like his solo stuff, or do you like him in Matchbox? I like Matchbox. His solo stuff's really good. 
I love freaking Matchbox 20. <laughs> I think they're great. Have you listened to any of his solo stuff? I think a little bit. I'm you sure he's definitely fine. have. You've definitely heard. I'm sure, he's fine. Stuff. He sings the the one from. Um, Waking Meet the Robinsons. up at the start of the end of the world. No, no, no. Go play the one. Play the one. Play the one. Or sing oh. that one song. <laughs> I thought you were going to sing the same one. Oh, it like it's like... the only one you know. Like you just keep singing the same one. <laughs> it's funny. That's one of the newer ones too. Oh. That's like I think it came out like 2012, 2011, something like that. What's their pop most popular? Is it 3 a.m.? Yeah, it's got to be, right? Is it 2 a.m. or 3 a.m.? It's 3. 3. But there's I'll also... Uh, I'll tell you what isn't the number one isn't is on there, the Spotify. Isn't, there's one called Push, too, though. Yeah, I want to push you yeah. around. Yeah. Well, I will. Well, well, I will. That's a good one. <laughs> My favorite one's yeah, Real they got World. Some, they got some bobs, bro. They got some freaking... They got some bobs. Are, do they still write music? I don't think Occasionally, so. Occasionally, I, I think. It's been, I think it's been a little while. I bet Rob Thomas is like, you know what? I'm He's still... Number one is Push. Yeah. Number one is Push. Yeah. It's Push... Uh, 3 a.m. If you're gone, unwell, and then real world. Real, yeah. real world's my favorite. I'm not crazy. I'm just a little unwell. I know right now you can't tell. We probably got copyrighted, but does that There's mean no way we did? We're just singing. It happens. That last not so the last podcast got copyrighted. But you guys, but you guys were playing music. It was, it was it like was, two seconds. Of it was interrupted too because I stopped it. I'm pretty sure. Like yeah. I, how did you? How did you guys? I did. See, I saw the email. How did you guys get around that? By the way, we didn't. We just left it. Yeah. Oh, I could have fixed it, but it was kind of. I think it was already Sunday night when Sky said it. I'm like, I see. Yeah, yeah. I saw the email. I saw the email. I was like, huh. Wonder what happened. So to be fair, Cole, you're probably right. I don't know if we'll get copyrighted for singing like three seconds of a song, but I have if done. If you're a cover. very a bi- if you're a very big channel, you can. Yeah. I know. I know. Um, who was it? He was just singing a song. He's literally just singing it. it. Wasn't even like, I think he was just singing it. Um, and it wasn't like titled cover or anything. He's just singing it like out of the blue, and he got copyrighted. What about the whole? You can you uh, can use up to ten seconds of a song. Bull crap, dude. I thought YouTube I thought it was th- I thought it was three, that's but no, oh, it was. I thought it was. I thought it was seven. I don't know what so number. But that's a legit knows. thing. That's a legit <laughs> yeah, thing, a, though. Yeah, copyright. The, the copyright law. Yeah, it's a legit but thing. S- since when does since when does that's, YouTube care? That's that's, one, that's something that like has always been. I've always noticed, at least, is YouTube's not very like Let's open or clear want. about like. Well, the problem is, it's a freaking robot, first of all. But second of all, but the people which, that are copyright striking you, they can they do, just it do it manually. Yeah, too. they just do it, and they're the ones that get to say if you're right or wrong. Like exactly so when we got copyrighted, I don't by think you KSI, should be able to be your own judge. That's so no, dumb. you shouldn't. It's like it's like being a basketball coach, and your son is a, a player that never sits the bench. Like he plays the entire game, even if he sucks. That's what it's like. Yeah, it's it's just like. It, they're of course they want they're gonna say uh, you're yeah it's it's like you're you're imposing or infringing or whatever because it's I mean they're gonna make the money that just but doesn't make any sense yeah it's easy money it, it it's so that's so dumb like what if they were to bring in like a random like third party that has no that's not influenced by either one I think you sh- if, YouTube should do it they'd be like you know what no like this is three seconds they're good or what if what but if the they were to do is that so many videos exactly that's that's what's tough but what if they were to bring in someone else. What if they had like a, a a ton of assigned people, or just like random people that like get selected, almost like jury duty or something? The the problem is is like there there's too many videos uploaded daily on YouTube to have a manual like an actual person go over it. Yeah, but what I think they should do. What if everyone had? What if huge channels? If you got to a point of like where. You could have like assigned people to your channel. You could be like that. a lawyer at that point, wouldn't it? Kind of, like, yeah. Kind of, they just fight. But like, but what I think, how they many fights do? are you fighting though? Like, exactly. I think, I, I think it's not going to be like a lawyer because no, they, I don't they're, think it would I mean, be that many anyway. Because like we get, that's the first copyright, stri- uh, not a strike, copyright notice we've gotten I mean, probably this year. No, no like, we got that's another not one. True. Yeah, we, we got, got another, another one. one. Gameception had one for oh for Halo for that Halo, Halo song, theme. but then I took it out and swapped it. There was another one. I did it. I did it. Um. One of the it was podcasts. no so it was uh, the Simpsons no it was for like the little like when the camera cuts off like you put things in between yeah, yeah. I usually just do like like nineties commercials or I just do like one random things but I did a I've done it before I was doing a problem but I did the Hulk Hogan um, a real American that's video right, that's right I only did the video nothing else and we were talking over it for like five seconds and it got copyrighted wow so I I I, I went back in I took it out and then I I uploaded it and it was fine but. See, what they should do is if you dispute a claim, 
somebody should manually view it, and it yeah, can't be the it cannot be the person that is putting the the copyright thing on you because it. That's just a lose lose. Every every music company out there, of course, even if you played one second of their song and they copyrighted they still you, they're want not the music. giving up. I mean, yeah, they still want That's the money. That's what sucks, though, dude. Is like, let's say, and the corridor guys were talking about this. Is they made this epic Star Wars video that took a months and months and months and months to make, and they used three seconds of I think it was the Darth Vader dun 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 dun, dun, dun. and it was like a rendition, almost like they covered it in a yeah. different way. And they got copyrighted for it. And he's like, you know what? Listen, I'm okay with sharing some of the money because whatever, fine. But the fact that somebody can claim your entire video, your month's worth of work on whatever the project is, and just say, nope, that's all mine because of three seconds, no. like that's not fair. No. I I understand like if it's like the the time we did we uploaded the Bachelor video, like that's a whole video oh, we're reacting yeah. to. It. Reacting that stuff's different. But like if you do all of it and it's like two or three seconds of a song. That's just ridiculous. Like, who cares? Even if it's, like, something you don't agree with, like, like the content, or it has nothing to do with the song, like, or whatever it is. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Well, the case of that Corridors thing that you're talking about, that should be covered because you're allowed to cover songs. I understand. But, so th they would have disputed it. They probably would have won. They didn't, though. Did they dispute it? No, they didn't dispute it. Oh, maybe... If they I can't remember. Disputed, they probably would have They won. did a video talking about it specifically, and the the one guy that oh, he's the business manager. He is a lawyer. Like he graduated from law school and stuff, and he was talking about it. And he was saying like, "What are some remedies for this?" And he was saying the same thing. Let's have somebody else review it. And he's like, he was saying the same thing. I'm not. I'm not against sharing the money. That's fine. But like, what gives you the right to claim my entire yeah. project because of? Three seconds of a song. But yeah, I mean, it's not even that though. Like, it's covered under the the cover. Fair use is it? It's, yeah, fair use. Fair use yeah. Is, you're allowed to cover songs. That's how it works. But the thing is, is you can still get copyrighted. There, I have a cover on my channel, on my vlogging channel, of Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Oh, copyrighted. And it's, and it's it's a cover. And it's not. It's hor. Yeah, it's not very great quality at all. No, like it doesn't even like it's like it's like it's like the camera, the sound is like so. It's. The camera was so far away yeah. from it in the the. It's not even like audio that's put into the. It's just like it's like a microphone like this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, not, I like, mean it's, even that though, you you, bad. you could technically dispute it. Uh, like you're you're allowed to, and I'm pretty dang which, sure if if you if you lose that dispute, then they're wrong, that they're false, and you could. So you I guess, are allowed to cover songs. You're allowed to cover songs. Yeah, it's covers. Um, that goes. I. I heard it the other day. I don't we remember what it was. We should look it up. But so it, you're allowed spreading. to cover. You're allowed to remix, I guess. And you're allowed to use the actual thing for a certain amount of time, whether it be three, seven, ten seconds, whatever it is. Um, that's how it works. I mean, that's how people sample songs. But most of the time, if they, the, it gets to a point of like where you have to change it enough. To where it's almost like you don't recognize it. I know, but like to be a, safe. a lot of samples, but some people though. have to clear it. Like some, because they're so it's so blatant or it's not changed enough that they have to well, clear it with the, whoever owns it. One of the big ones I can think of is uh, Mr. Clean, not Mr. Clean. Oh, well, that's Young Gravy. Song. Young Gravy. Yeah, and he does the he does um, Mr. Sam, man. Yeah, he goes. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, that's like a certain percentage of a song. That's you. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, but, but I mean, you're allowed to sample that part of the song. I it it it, and then also it goes back to like after a while, like I think it's like 25 years is like when it runs out. That's like true. Yeah, that's so true. So that song is from like the 50s or 60s. So I don't yeah. know who owns it now. Maybe they cleared it, like the sample. But it's yeah. like on Spotify and everything. Well, here, listen to this. So, there's, there's something called the cover song licensing. A live performance is not publication. The song's copyright owner must give you a mechanical license if you pay a royalty fee based on estimated revenue from the cover song. To post video along with the song, you'll need a synchronization license, also called a sync license. Then YouTube doesn't just cover that? Gosh. I don't know. And then I this is another. It says, our cover song is copyrighted. While you own the recording of your cover song, the copyright owner owns the composition and, uh, and still give permission for the composition to be used in audio. Uh, how long does a song have to be to get copyrighted? More specifically, the term copyright under the Copyright Act depends on when the work was created. As follows, works created on after January 1st, 1978, these works are protected for 70 years after the death of the individual. Um, yeah, I don't know. The problem is, is it's so... It's so technical. Nobody it's so knows. hard. Like, exactly. It's thing. so it's hard like, to know. Because I've... I, I mean, obviously you've done research and, and you've been told one thing. I've heard 
other things as well. Like, how do you know what's right and wrong? All I know is from experience of what yeah. I've been copyrighted for on YouTube. Which sucks is because you don't... <coughs> it really doesn't make any sense. Because I've watched videos of, like, huge channels, and they're going to make a lot of money off a of video. They're not going to, like, leave something in. They get, like, they get it claimed. Like, they're going to... Or they get, like, risk getting a strike or something. So, like, they do enough just to get around it. But they still, like, play, like, yeah. actual music. And they still, they're like, oh, I don't want to, like... Or someone, like, for example, uh, like, a like a game will have, a, like, an actual song uh -huh. in it. But then they'll switch it out with, like, a regular song or something. And they're like, I don't want to risk it. Well, what's and, and then they can upload it and it's fine. What's but. interesting about that is uh, Critical made a video talking about um, Twitch's... They're just DMCing a everybody right now. Yeah, he, he played in the Call of Duty game. They have they have like a bunch. I don't know how much of the campaign you played, but I guess they have some songs like retro songs for the '80s, like a legit licensed music. And people are getting. It wasn't him. He said he was at risk because of it, but because he played two games, he played that one, and then there was another game that come out recently that I think is Spider Man, maybe. But he was saying that there's people on Twitch that are just getting banned because of the games they're playing because they have copyrighted songs. Like and, there's got to be something for that because they're buying the game. It's not like they're. It's Twitch not says, like they're. Twitch says turn the music off. That's literally what Twitch. So says. just turn the audio off. Well, you can turn the music off in game. Oh, you can. Depending on the game. That's true. But on the but game. even like the the game. Uh, there's a reason why the music's in there. They paid for it. So can you so not like, play? Can you not play something like Guitar Hero on Twitch anymore? I don't know. G the guy that I watched, I haven't watched him recently. His name was Asai. He he played. That was his thing. Is he just played tons of. Well, we played Clone Hero, but there's tons yeah. of songs on there. I'd have to Those go are watch. are actual songs, too. So. Yeah, I'd have to go back and watch and see. But <sighs> somebody like the 8-Bit Drummer, who that's his whole gimmick, too, is he just does drum covers. Well, there's a bunch of people on Twitch in like the Just Chatting section that just play music. Yeah, they, I don't think you can do that anymore. They're just they're just, just band hammering I people. know there are some bands, though, they are like... We made sure that like our music is cleared, so you can play it on true, your yeah. stream or you're true. playing Midnight, games. The Midnight is one of them. There's a lot of bands that are doing it though. They're like giving people permission. Like you guys are fans. You guys are like supporting the music and you're sharing it with like a bunch of people. Like we want that. Yeah. I don't. I. It's just. It doesn't make any sense. It's the record why, labels that are doing it. Like UMG is a humongous one. Oh, it's that, just like like you. Yeah, like Universal, Warner like, Brothers. Just, all those like they're just money hungry, bro. It bugs well, me just, so it's, much. It's I understand money. you want to protect, like, it's your property. I understand that. But, like, where does it, like, where Within does it reason, stop? Though. With someone that has, like, less than a thousand subscribers and, like, you're demonetizing or you're, like, claiming their video and, like, what money is it going to make? And, like, what, like, why? Like, it, does, it doesn't make any sense to me. That's it why really I doesn't. wonder if it's a bot. I wonder if these companies have bots that scour the internet. Oh, they have to. They they just yeah, they listen definitely do. For, they definitely definitely and do. And maybe yeah. maybe they have a minimum of like two to three seconds. If you hear anything within two to three seconds of any of these songs, that is crazy to me. Cause like, like like forty five minutes into like a a video that gets maybe like twenty views or twenty five views, it gets three or four seconds, and uh, the whole all of it's like we're talking, and then they get four seconds of like a, a piano, and that's it. The whole video's gone. Yeah. How does that? Like I don't. I don't even. The the other thing that I've been wondering about too is back on the cover topic, how is there a bunch of cover artists on YouTube and that's their living essentially? Exactly. They make cover music like video games and other songs like real songs too, but like they're fine. Like I mean, that's why I think there's a cover there's a cover protection. There's oh, there gotta has be, to be something. There has to be. I think that well don't a lot of people like big YouTubers have like someone that works with them at YouTube? And a yeah. lot of people like have yeah, someone they I can think like, so, like, yeah. and so like sure. what if they have people like that? They're like, Hey, like what am I supposed to do with my videos? Like, oh I don't want to get demonetized. This is my like living, like what do I need to do? I'm sure like they'll tell them, like, yeah. do this and this and this and you should be fine. But I think the legit the best way, like what Family Jewels is doing, like I think that's the safest way because you're playing video game covers and most video game music, save a few, obviously the Halo one that Cole found, is like copyright free or Rather, you can cover it and not get copyrighted because people, I mean, that's what we do. We play video games. We review video games. We use video game music all the time, and we don't get copyrighted for it. What's ironic about that is that, like, Nintendo is one of the biggest ones when it comes to that kind of stuff, but I've never gotten copyrighted about one of their songs. I think Nintendo's become more lax because they were even copyrighting cutscenes, dude. Yeah. Like when Zay, or Well, not, no, that Bane was their I. thing. That was their big thing was cutscenes. Be, I think that stemmed from Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah, for the Wii. Yeah, because as soon as that game came out, every single cutscene in the game was out on YouTube that same day, instantly, basically. And that made the creator talk about how he doesn't want to make games anymore if they're just going to be up on YouTube instantly now. 
uh, he doesn't what is he just doesn't want to. That's his thing. And so I think that's what made Nintendo start going, okay, we don't want people to get the experience of our games on YouTube in a platform that they're not that that we didn't set up essentially. Like we want people to p experience our games by playing them, not by watching somebody play them. I think that was their whole their yeah, whole uh, platform. That's it. what they're going for, you know. And then I guess they realized it wasn't great for them because they, maybe they lost sales or something. I don't know, but that was their whole thing. That's why they tried to uh, they always cut the cutscenes out. Yeah. Because of that very reason. It's kind of tough because I can understand why you wouldn't want. I mean, you want people. Of course, you want people to buy and play your game, but yeah, like what. You don't want to be known as those people that like are so strict about their things, but then at the same time, like if you're creating a game and it's just all over like instantly, like and you can't even control like any of the, any of it. I mean, and on the on I the flip know. side, there's been countless YouTube videos I've watched that made me buy a game. Exactly, that's like what the I'm exposure, yeah, yeah. That's the exposure. What? So I think it, I think it could almost be like a double edged sword. Like it can go either way. Well, that's what my argument would know. be, dude. There's several games you could look at, like. Look at Among Us that has just exploded in popularity, and I guarantee you, you can equate that to popular there, Twitch and YouTube. Oh, yeah, there was yeah. a. F I think there's a few streamers that did it first, and then they just blew up. But they, yeah. I mean, they don't, they don't gain anything from it. Yeah. It's just literally the Dude, exposure. Another, but they don't get paid by the company. Another or really popular game that uh, didn't do as well, like when it first released. But PewDiePie played Skate Three back in like 2012 or 13, and after he played Skate Three, they sold a whole bunch more copies just because one man played it. Well, another example is Apex Legends. Yeah, look at the launch of that game. That oh, they, game was number one for like two weeks straight. Yeah, all the they had every they were paying so many. Dude, they had a, I think they had a million too. downloads the first day, didn't they? Oh yeah, that first is disgusting. Day. They had a ton of people playing that game. That's <clears throat> absolutely insane. One million in one day. Yeah, so when I first found out about the, the whole Nintendo banning cutscenes thing, like, I guess I understand, but I still think it's silly because this is what it is, is you're getting free exposure after somebody already paid for your game and they're streaming it or, or showing it to essentially millions of other people that are potential buyers. You know what I mean? I've... I've bought a lot of games, just like you were saying. I bought a lot of games because I watched a review on it or I watched some gameplay. I'm like, yo, this looks really fun. I want to play it. Another interesting thing I've found is some specific publishers will try to, not copyright, but they'll try to like block people from either recording or sharing certain parts of their games. So, for example, while I was playing through Persona 5 Royal, I was always collecting footage by hitting the share button on my PlayStation controller and then recording the last 15 or so minutes or whatever it does. And, like, right up at the very end of the game, and then all of, like, the the new game, or not the new game, but, like, the stuff that was in Royal that wasn't in the original, all of that stuff would not let me record. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't let me record at that share button because, and, and a little pop-up will say, um, the the publisher has blocked this portion of the game from uh, taking pictures or videos because they don't want their ending to be spoiled, I guess. I, I think that's the reason for it. But that's still kind of silly, though, but, like, I think that's the same kind of stance Nintendo was kind of having with their thing. They want people to experience it for themselves, not just watch somebody else do it. See, here's another argument I have for that, too, is... Gamers that want to experience the game will go about not getting spoiled. Like, I do this all the time, where yeah. if I want to look up a game, I'm like, okay, I'm going to kind of tiptoe. I just want to see what the game looks like, maybe hear a couple reviews about it, and if and if the reviewers are really nice, like all of them mostly are, they're like, okay, I'm about to spoil it, then you can click off. So I don't think Nintendo should necessarily be mom in this aspect. They should be like, okay, you know what? If... Dave and Tim want to get spoiled by all freaking means. Like, like Thane's a perfect example. No matter what, Thane's going to spoil himself on most things, unless it's something that he's a diehard fan of, like One Piece or Cyberpunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't think fair. I don't think it's Nintendo's job to be mom on and monitor. Oh well, we don't want we don't want our game to get spoiled. Who cares? You know what I mean? Who yeah. cares if your game is spoiled? I. It's it really is a hard subject because then it does always tie back into the copyright stuff and they don't want them to share their own things, you know, and it's a whole big mess. It really, really is, but who knows? I don't have the answers. I wish I did. It'd be cool to know everything. There was a this. there was another thing that I was looking up where it was like um some developers talking about ways around the whole spoil the ending. Oh yeah. And yeah. it's having multiple endings. That's one of the reasons yeah. they're like having multiple endings. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I, eh, it's interesting. It really is. I, 
it's inter- it, what also sucks about it is I know we're gonna have to deal with it in the future at some point because we deal with it occasionally now the copyright stuff anyway, and it's gonna it's gonna be a bigger thing in the future, and of course you know I told you guys earlier today about how the whole Hyrule Warriors thing debacle with Twitch and them banning That's a bunch so of people so silly because the game's not out in the whole world but it is out where they are. I, that's just a mess. That's got to be some kind of error in their in their coding, right? That's got to be some kind of bot that was mistakenly banning people. There's no way they were trying to ban people because they were playing the game. Yeah. Well, and see, and I understand like uh, this this part I don't get what you're talking about, but I understand where companies are like, hey, we don't want our, our ending spoiled, like, or we don't want what's going to happen spoiled before it even comes out. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, like, uh, or leaks, leaks, for example, like. People, yes, people yeah. don't. You don't want to. You don't want your game to leak. Like, like I know they were trying to do the whole the Mario 3D All Stars. They wanted to kind of do it secretly, but it got leaked, right? And of course, the leaks were just just people. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Speculating. Speculating. Just people speculating. But they, I mean, they were true. So it's well, like. Well, here's here's a really good example. Actually, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, that game, they did, they tried really, really hard to hide almost every new Pokemon that was in the game. I would say 5% of the new Pokemon that were in the game were shown off before the game was released. A week before the game was launched, a leaks came out and every Pokemon was leaked. See, that, that sucks. I understand that from a developer standpoint, but after your game's released, like, that's just, that's free game, dude. Just let people do what they yeah. want at that point. Like later on, though, they actually were able to track down those people and sue them for leaking their stuff. So they got them. Yeah. But it, it's still, I mean, I was one of the people that was trying to not look at the leaks. And I did a pretty good job of not looking at them. But it was rough at times, too. I stayed off Twitter for almost a whole week because of it. Yeah, I remember that. See, in that part I get. Like, it, it's not fun to have things leak before it's even out. But, like, yeah. banning people because they bought the game legally just because they're... They are they're ahead of us. They are literally ahead in time. Yeah. Like yeah, they're better than us. That's why they're. Yeah, ahead. they're better than us. They should yeah. be able to what? play their game. Yeah, that makes no sense. That's, that makes that's no silly. Sense. Dude. I mean, they bought the game. I mean, they're supporting it. That's exactly what you want. Right? I think that's got to be just some bot error. I. I mean, hopefully, but like, yeah. how do you like? How do you, like? That's. I mean, that's a lot of like. I mean, you. Of course, they're doing it because they want to show off the new game. But they also they're going to gain people. Oh yeah. They're going to gain new followers. So like, I don't know how you're you missing out. Either, yeah. Exactly. You're missing out on like that exposure to a new audience. Well, the real question is, I'm gonna look it up right now. I'm gonna. The real question is, is is anybody streaming this game right now? Is it completely off? Like, I'm gonna check right now. I'm gonna go to it and see. Like, maybe they're playing the demo. I don't know. Maybe you can play the demo right now. Who knows? See that. That's another thing though. Why would they be banning people? What if you stream the demo? True. That doesn't even make sense. There's people playing right now. Yeah, there's definitely people playing it right now. That's bull, dude. I wonder if that is just a hiccup somewhere. That's a new Zelda game, you said? Yeah. Honestly, there's not a lot of viewers on it, though. What's it called? Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Hmm. There's definitely playing it, though. Oh, this person's playing the demo. It must not be out yet for them. What if they just say demo? What if Lingus just said, okay, demo? I guess it's too late for him if he already got banned for yeah. 48 hours. What a joke, dude. Come There's on, Twitch. One. His name is Reversal. got banned for 48 as well. He's another bigger one. I think Twitch has got to fix their tish then. they got to get their crap There's together. There's a lot of stuff messed up on Twitch right now. There's for sure. Yeah, dude. There's so many people complaining about it. There's a lot of people that are saying like they're just inches away from going to freaking YouTube and streaming. Because YouTube, while I don't think YouTube's got his copyright law or thing figured out, it's better than Twitch's. They've they've got something figured out. It's not great, but yeah. At least it's functional, kind of. Definitely. Well, everybody, today is community week. But before we get into the community's questions, we're going to look at one special member of the community's... Uh, uh, one special member the, of the community. The, the family. The, f- the, the family. The fat the pack. I mean the f- cat pack. <laughs> you you yeah. know what time it is. It's, it's time for thick thoughts. Thick thoughts. He's he's a we're he, he's a proud member of the of the um the pack cack. I mean the cat. <laughs> 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 All right, thick. Thank you, boy. Tell me when. All right, it's recording. All right, thick thoughts. Each is nice. What do you think, Cole? Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that laugh, dude. That laugh. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I was hoping he was gonna cut that stuff out. <laughs> 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 it was ah, so were you like really laughing? It was so surreal. Oh, I was okay, like, what okay. the freak? We just recorded Dick's thoughts. Yeah, so what the freak? What do you think, Cold? Beach is nice. <laughs> it's so windy. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool you guys met. So tell windy. us a little bit about it. So, I was on vacation for the past week. As you guys know, I was gone. I was in Florida, you know, catching the Rones. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I got sick. I don't think any of my family actually got sick, surprisingly. Anyway, we had some good times. We hung out. We went to some Disneylands. That was rough. I mean, you know, walking sucks. Gosh, dude. Walking sucks. Walking with a mask probably double yeah, sucks. Yeah, that, that was terrible, especially when it got really smelly. But my goodness, the lines were terrible. We were standing for hours. Man, it was terrible. My feet hurt so bad. Anyway, you get one of them fast passes? We thought about it. We didn't, though. Yeah, it was still fun, though. Dude, I did the Star Wars stuff. That was really fun. I like Star Wars, so that was great. Um. Anyway, on one day, we went to the beach. My dad and my brother went to the beach, and I, I knew it was near Thick's area, so we, we hooked up, and, and, and we hung out for, like, five minutes, saying hi to each other over and over again. It's all awkwardly. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, Yo, crazy. what up, man? This, this is, is crazy. crazy. No, it was re- it was definitely definitely really really weird. That's for sure. Meeting Dick, meeting him. Yeah, was, I never met anybody from the internet that I've only known on the internet in real life. That's, That's what cool. was so weird That's about trippy, it. But it was dude. super super cool to meet him though. And one was, yeah, one day you're just talking to him on Discord, and the next day you're you see him in person. Oh, I know. That's, That's so weird. That's really what it was. That's, That's so weird. That was crazy. And so we just had to record Thick's thoughts together too. It was supposed to be a secret, but the cat was let out of the bag. Oh, I I knew immediately. Thick called me immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I knew immediately. But let's name, let's call out one specific person that maybe didn't know. Cole, drum roll. I heard there's a little boober out there that didn't know. <laughs> That's why he's doing like, that evil laugh. Tish gamers, holy That's why he's doing the laugh. Yo, hold on, Let, let's be honest, bro. <laughs> what if, somebody what if thick, <laughs> get what if wrecked, thick boobs? Him? What if Thick told him? I gotta, I gotta hold out hope that Thick didn't. You're gonna have to hold out for four more days until this episode releases. Get wrecked, boobs. Well, if you think, <laughs> I would have saw. I saw Thick this Monday, this last Monday, mm-hmm. and. There hasn't been a weekend since, and that's typically when they would have hung out, played games, or watched anime. Did you tell Thick not to say anything? I told Thick four times not to tell anybody anything. He still did. He told everybody. I think he was a little... No, I don't think he's very hesitant. Never mind. To me, he wasn't. (laughs) <laughs> to me, he, he told Same Man too. Same Man texts me on Discord. He's like, "How does it mean thick?" I'm like, "I don't know what you're talking I about. I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? I don't ah, know you." Ha ha, Boober, get wrecked. Ha ha ha. I guarantee. Yeah, I guarantee funny. he's gonna comment, or if he finds out before, he's gonna comment and say, "Oh, I knew the whole time. You oh, guys totally. didn't get me." Because you, according to Boober, he can never get gotten. He's like that. It was really I know fun, everything. Though. I'm 14 year old guy. I know everything. 15, it was definitely though. really fun. Oh, 15 though. year old guy. When I got to film it, I was like, "Dang, I'm gonna film. It. I'm gonna make it look all nice." I made him stand in front of the beach like that. <laughs> the lighting <laughs> was good too. Or horizontal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the lighting wasn't bad. I could have done better with the framing, sure, but you were probably nervous. I was really nervous. I was like, "Who oh, no. knew?" We did it one take too. One take. McGee. Yeah, one take. I didn't even try to do another one. But yeah, today is community day, everybody, so we're going to be going over some of your questions found within our Discord. If you'd like to join our Discord for next community day, feel free to do that. The link is in the description. If you're on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, go to YouTube and find it. I don't know where it is on your guys' things. I don't know. Zay, can you put links in Spotify? Oh, well, um, I saw links on disc or on Spotify. Yeah, you can't put links in Spotify. I saw clickable links on Spotify. Yeah. I think yeah, they're they clickable. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know about you, Apple people, but like, I definitely saw them on disc on the Spotify. Are we still going on Apple? Like, I I think I set it up to where it automatically uploads it to Apple and Spotify. Yeah, it should be on Apple too. Yeah, that's. I'm cool. pretty sure that's yeah. I wonder. Slate should check and see if anybody's commented again. Yeah, we should check. Because none of us have Apple device. It's kind of a pain they have to have an Apple device to do that. I'll download the Apple Podcast app on my phone. All right, here we are. Whoa, everybody. Clash of Clans. Whoa. Was I on it? You it's can play right. Clash of Clans on your 
freaking computer. To the right. Whoa. But yeah, here we are. We're on the Radcats Discord. We're going to look at some of our hot, hot questions. Oh, this is the best way to do it. And we're going to start out with number one from FinnJake10YT. Which celebrities will you kill, date, marry? Pick three. Pick three. <laughs> um, Finn, usually usually you pick like three hot <laughs> chicks, and then you ask this question. But I mean, if I gotta pick, I'm. Gonna, oh yeah, you're doing. You're you're not making it very tough, Finn. Because yeah, Sky's gonna, gonna pick all guys. Yeah, I'm gonna. Whoa, no. <laughs> oh <laughs> shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Get yeah. gamer yeah. done. Who will I kill? Get, uh, get uh, gamer uh, done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's a Who's a celebrity that sucks? That I'll just kill someone that's already dead. Can I do that? What if you're just the same person for all of them? Killing is like pretty pretty. Why don't you marry him first? Or wait, is date? No. Oh, date. You can date, marry, then kill. Okay, I want to kill. I'll do kill last because it's really dark. Okay. Um, I it's want best to. Best to kill at night. I want to marry Zendaya. I want to. <sighs> I'm not gonna say it. I changed my mind. I'm still gonna marry Zendaya, of course. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing by that one. Uh, well, because uh, I know that people are going to call me a simp if I say this other one. So oh, I know what it is. I'm going to. Are date. you scared of? Are you scared of being called a simp? <laughs> usually, no, usually that's people a who simp. say that usually. <laughs> that's a simp. Usually people F who you. say that. Usually people who say that they re simp recognize a simp. That's All how right, I see I'm it. not ashamed of it. Yeah. I'm going to marry Zendaya. I'm going to date Belle Delphine. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. I one. didn't expect that one either. That was a twist. Wait, Sky, I didn't like that. that. Sky, I didn't like that. I thought oh, you were going to say that? Pokemon oh. or something. Oh, I thought he was going to say that one girl that he likes on TikTok. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Now I feel Jeez. even worse. <laughs> Jeez, Rick. <laughs> no, so anyway, so Jeez, Rick. Let, me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why really quick I why I chose Belle Delphine. Belle was on the H3 podcast, and she seems like, like a really cool person. She just happens to be a very lewd individual on the internet. But she's a really Shoulder smart freaking. and cool individual. And then, uh, God, man, I'm going to kill probably one of them kid diddlers. I guess uh, Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Gonna, I thought it was a girl. I thought it was someone that like you would like date. Celebrity. I, I guess that's true. But usually that question is like it's like a female. You said that so fast. Well, I told you it's dark. It was dark, but that's who I'd kill. <laughs> Why is that funny? Because he's dark. Because he's a dark Because you're dark cool? No, because he's a dark man. <laughs> wait, Mr. Mr. Wait, Cosby. Bill, Bill Cosby didn't ever touch any kids, right? It was just... Yeah, not kids. Was assaulted but, women. Yes, yeah, we'll <laughs> drug them. Yeah, and assault Okay, them. well, I'll still kill him. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's who he said. No one... No one <laughs> probably kill them kid diddlers. Let's go, Bill Cosby. <laughs> no one's going to blame you. <laughs> okay. Unless you got a theory, Scott. You got a conspiracy <laughs> oh theory or God. a theory for us? No. I mean, I never liked Bill Cosby at all. <sighs> like... He was. He had no no particular interest in my life. Like I, I never listened I, to any of his comedy. No, I just didn't know anything about him other than Little Bill the cartoon. But damn, very good stand up. It does not age well. Very good, very good stand up. If you've ever like, you need to listen to some of his live stuff. I can't separate like his the, albums. The, the art from the artist. I can't separate. Okay, you can't listen to freaking. I, don't listen to Motley Crue then. Those guys have done horrible things. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm a crew for life. How dare you, Sky? They're yeah, bad. Yeah, don't They're even. Bad now. Don't even. That's that's a that's a debate in itself though. Vince is. killed a guy, dude. Exactly. Or uh, freaking well, Matthew Broderick, Ferris Bueller. He killed a guy too. He killed a guy. Two on, people actually. On purpose or an accident? No, he was drunk driving. Yeah, okay, oh. yeah, that's what. And Vince head-on collision killed two people and Whoa. got away with it. This was like back in the 80s or 90s, Whoa. dude. I don't know that. Yeah. By the way, I can separate the art from the artist. That was just a joke. That's, I mean, that's a debate in itself, though. Is like, what? Who are you a big enough fan that you could do it? Well, that's the thing too, though. Is like, I don't want to support scumbags either. So it's yeah, like, I, yeah, I'm, true. I pick and choose. So whatever. <laughs> I feel like that's. It's just, it's so hard because there's so many messed up people. But usually, the messed up people make really good things, which is sad to say. Oh, but I know usually, the they do. That scumbag that made Bohemian Rhapsody. What's Brian Singer? Oh, they're gonna say Freddie Mercury. Brian Singer. <laughs> Brian. I mean, <sighs> is that his name? Are you talking about like the producer? Yeah. I don't know if it's Brian. Pretty Singer. Pretty sure Brian Singer did. Uh, I don't know if he worked on that. I I know he worked on like he's worked on like X Men. He's worked on. I mean, he's worked on a lot of stuff. But he's a scumbag too, right? But there's also freaking um Dan Schneider. You guys know who Dan Schneider is? I've heard the name. 
He's he's the guy that he I think he's like the I don't know if he's the writer or creator of like iCarly and all oh, those yeah, like those Nickelodeon yeah, yeah, yeah. shows. Yeah. That creep, bro. That creep. Yeah, it was Brian Singer. It was directed uh, by Brian Singer. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. gonna Yeah, that guy is weird. I'm gonna date Victoria Justice. I'm gonna marry Hmm. Probably iCarly. No. <laughs> I don't know. I want someone that's just, that seems kinda chill. Kind of nice. To marry or Oh, maybe date? like Amelia Clark. She's really pretty. To she, date or marry? To marry. She'd oh, okay. be pretty chill. <laughs> Who are you killing? I'll <laughs> kill Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I don't know. He's a, he's bad, like guy. a bad guy. Unless he, unless he like tries to do better. I don't care <laughs> about Kevin Spacey. He's the other, behind bars. The other thing I was thinking of Great was, actor, though. He's been that, in some good movies. Is that He's one lady great that's currently trying to divorce Johnny Depp. Oh, Amber Heard. Yeah, she's a bad lady right now, too. She didn't do any, like, naughties with kids, though. Bro, is that you should kill one of the Clintons? Probably the girl. <laughs> If you want to stick with the girl <laughs> thing, you should one of the one of the one of the grandbabies so they can't keep multiplying. <laughs> uh, sure. Do you think that would get to her? She probably eats her own grandbabies. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetize, yo, bro. Hillary Clinton's gonna go back in ten we years. Get claimed, and she's we gonna get watch claimed this. by the Clinton family. They're gonna YouTube kill me. No. <laughs> they, no, they ain't claiming, bro. They're sending a They're hit, claimed. man. I'm going down. This right? guy's dead, dude. Guys, my goal is to. I'm gonna try and get one video that hits a million views before the Clintons kill me. Okay, <laughs> oh mark my, my words. Gosh. Clip that. Clip mark, that. clip it. Clip it. <laughs> what do you guys say? This is such a deep question for the first freaking one. Uh, <laughs> this is literally the answer first the question. Answer the question, Jay. We answered it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm the one asking the questions around here. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, Ro- Margot Robbie. She's married. The two girls uh, I picked aren't married. I don't even know. But that doesn't mean you can't pick them. Margot Robbie's a dime. I'd pick her, too, oh, but Margo, I already picked Margo my Robbie's two. Margot Robbie's gorgeous. I don't even know if um, I picked or not. Or not. Mm. I just said them. I feel like we've done this before. We've definitely done this before. But if somebody gave us the names, they'd be like, Yeah, Yo. they gave us yeah. names. Yeah. This is just you come up with anybody. Yo, Kanye West. It's <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Kanye, the guy that killed Tupac, <laughs> and Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> Mary killed Date. I married the if you kill the Tupac, guy that killed Tupac, kill Tupac, Tupac doesn't die. And date Kanye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, let's see. I'd probably pick Zendaya to marry, but since you already picked her, I'm you guys like the her. same girl. Bro, Zendaya Bro, she's is like, so cool. I've like look dude, up some interviews is, over. She's just chill she's, as hell, but she's gorgeous. Like she's <laughs> she is. Why would you just pick Billie Eilish? I don't know if I would want to marry Skywood. Billie Eilish. Six Billie, months ago, Skywood. Billie Eilish. How could be changed? Well, actually, Shh, never mind. I was whenever say she turned horrible. eighteen, <laughs> exactly. I was gonna say she turned eighteen between six, six she, months ago. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> whenever, whenever yeah, she turned, yeah, 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 yeah. whenever she turned, whenever she turned eighteen, that's when Sky would have dated her. I want you date somebody, marry somebody, and kill Skyler. <laughs> we hate you. Yeah, we hate You're you. putting words into my mouth. Who are you killed, Zay? Wait, I haven't Wait, even... just date marry someone and then you don't have to kill Let's anyone. go to the next question. Okay, Mary, um, Mary's going to be Jessica Alba. Okay. Now kill someone. Date. No, oh. I didn't pick date. I think, oh, yeah, that's right. I thought you were going to pick um, someone. Yeah. Let's see. Who would be freaking someone fun? I'd probably date. Um, what's her freaking name? From what? <sighs> Melissa Wizards McCarthy. Of- Melissa McCarthy. That's probably who I would date. Do you know I, who that is? I think it's a Selena Gomez from Wizards no, no, of Waverly no, no, no. Place. I'd probably pick Melissa McCarthy. She's hilarious. I think it'd be so much fun. Um, who are you killing? I'd probably kill... Hmm. Ah, man, I don't know. Just say... I'm going to give you five. Five? Just say four, the one I said. Three, two... One, zero, go. And 
next question. Yeah, I just keep going. No, I, he's got to kill somebody. He didn't say anything. He's we're gonna be sitting here for another thirty minutes just, just watching let Zay him go. Say hey, dude, watch it's off Zay the go. top of my head. It's kind of hard with these kind of things. Just say the one that's gonna the, 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 that's the hitman. Kill the one that killed Kobe. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, Sky's, the Sky's getting in real deep the, here. The Sky's getting in very deep here. I'm gonna I'm just gonna skip. Bull crap, you can't skip. I'm Say all somebody. peace. I'm all peace and love. F. I'm all peace and love. He's gonna kill Slash from the hit band Guns and Roses. Next question. I didn't say it. <laughs> okay, I'm all peace and go love. Go ahead, Zay. Go ahead, peace lover. All right. If you were to brother, Boober. offer a man one mil or eternal happiness, which would he choose? Wait, is that like? Are you asking us this, or what would the guy choose? Would the guy choose that? How would we yeah, know Boober, what he choose? Are, how about we just answer it for ourselves? I pick. Yeah, happiness. if someone were to give us that, I pick happiness. Yeah, I pick the happiness too. It's kind of a no-brainer. Zay's over like <laughs> million dollars. I don't know. <laughs> Money's happiness. Bucks. And he didn't say it was taxed either, so. That's you a cold mill then. You could probably do. <sighs> Damn, that one's Goodness, tough. this is why it takes so long to get through these things because Zay's over there going. No, it's because we freaking jerked off the first <sighs> question. Just let him ponder. I don't see what the rush is. Yeah, I'm gonna That's say. Band, though. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'll say eternal happiness just to follow the crowd. It's not hard to pick though. You just go boom, done. It's, it's, no, it's not think about it. Yeah, I you think about these it. questions. <laughs> okay. Also from Brother Boober, why should there be Boober, a meaning I take your to question life seriously. or closure or for something to look forward to? Both. For closure? for some. Why should there be a meaning to life for closure? Oh, those two things are why. Boober, I think that's the two things. Closure that's the two or reasons something to why look people forward want to. a meaning for life. I guess maybe direction. You could throw direction in there. But that would be looking forward to something, yeah, right? Isn't that oh, that's true. Okay. Similar anyway. Yeah, I would say that more people want to know the meaning of life for direction as opposed to closure. Yeah, I can agree with that. I feel like, uh, never mind, just forward, forward thinking. Yeah, forward in the direction. Well, I'm interested. What do you have to say? I would say if you find that stuff out, I mean, that's closure in a way because we'll never know. Like, Well, yeah. That's there's a lot of stuff you don't yeah. come to closure with or come to terms with. So I that think I think, yeah, yeah, so I mean, in a way, I feel like it's kind of the same thing, but. I don't know. No, just forward. Just moving forward. That's what I'm going to say. Next question. This what? Is, I think it's Zay's turn. No, it's my turn. Who read this one? You did. Oh, Zay, you read too? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What does mental age mean and how do you determine it? It means how old you act, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, Boober. I've met some young kids like yourself that are really smart at times, and I've also met adults that are really stupid. So, or vice versa, Boober. Jeez, I get just wrecked. Saw that dude's get name wrecked. In our Discord. Holy crap! <laughs> That's My funny, goodness. huh? That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> My goodness. I love that name. Whoever that is, we don't even really know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? It is joined. Yeah, Boober. I don't know how you determine that, because I don't know. Whatever. Go ahead, Zay. I don't know if there's a way to determine that. I don't know either. It's a good question though, but I I've thought I thought about it the other day. Do you think some young people overthink their situations they're in real life and take what they have for granted? Yes. I think I, it's I, I don't know, but we're what you young asked. people. I, don't know. I think this is based off first hand experience. When I was younger, I overthought almost too. everything. Going into high school, oh man, overthink everything. See, I think I was the opposite in high school, is I didn't think about anything, and I really didn't think about how good I had it in high school either. So I was just a freaking. I guess happy go lucky. I guess. I mean, that's one of the that's one of the pros. If this is you don't ever think, you can't. You mean you don't know? I might have taken it for granted for a little bit, but I don't really take it for granted anymore. I know I got freaking lucky with most of my stuff, but like when it comes down to it, man, I overthought so much stuff back in the day. How would you fare now? Do you overthink anything now? I don't think so. <clears throat> like sometimes maybe, yeah, but like for the most part. Pretty chill. Yeah, a lot to, depending on whatever stuff I'm doing. It depends, but it depends how much I think about it. But back then it was always just like overthinking all the time. Lots of things. Stemmed from my school work where it's like, is this the answer? My s no. Must be this one. How about to this one, you know, kind of thing. What does it say? Ant? Spider. Spider. Oh, gross. All right, Zay, do you have anything to add to that one? Um, 
Yeah, I feel like I did take it for granted. But what else can you do? I mean, without living now, like if you're as an old, older adult, you don't know. I mean, you have no idea. I mean, they could yeah. be the same for right now. Like, there's this, there's times where like I think, I mean, I'll never. I mean, twenty years on the road, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna have this. So like, I think any time when you look back, like you're gonna take something for granted. You're gonna feel that way. At least yeah. I will. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead, Zay. Do you think the importance of asking a question is the answer or the impact of how you respond? Whoa. Um, I'm going to have to process this one for a second because I, I don't really understand it. No, answer, Sky. Answer now. Uh, we well, have a okay. limited amount of okay, time. Zay, we me, have a limited amount of time, Sky. Zay, me, answer the damn Zay, question. Zay, Zay, question Zay, six. 25. Do you think... The importance. Zay, Zay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The only reason I can how the tables, is because we how the turns have tabled. Last. How the we turns always, have tabled. Zay, I'm the one that was complaining, not Sky. Don't you take it out on him. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> sometimes there's casualties when they're when you're <laughs> learning lessons. Uh, but what I was gonna say, Zay, the only reason I get mad at you is because we all say stuff before you say something. That's how taking turns works. That's how the. That's so long. Something. Cool. That's how the order of answering questions goes. The last person doesn't get an answer when there's an order. That's how it works. I know, that's what you just but said. That's, that's the time you, you get to think about your answer. You have. I'm some, reading it, and thinking about it still. You get like, way more time than any of us to think about an answer, <laughs> and you still sit and you sit there going, hmm, "Hey, what's my answer?" Because he hey. wants to give good advice. Oh, sorry, this hard one. Sorry, I, I sorry, I value Boober's questions. All right. I thought I'm, I'm saying. I apologize for valuing the questions. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm gonna answer the. Question question now i honestly think the importance of asking questions isn't really from like the answer or um wait is the impact of how you respond is like the person receiving the answer that's probably yeah probably the second part of it because i think the importance of asking is just what you get from the answer i guess like how you take it and use it I, I agree 100% ditto. Like, yeah, exactly. You could ask all the questions in the world, but if you don't do anything with the answers you receive or the answers you don't receive, then what's the point of asking questions? It's like reading books. If you read a book and you, you're like, great, that was a great book. Did you learn anything from it? Jeez, I don't know. Criminy, I heard Katniss Everdeen was in there, but that's about it. She ate some berries and stuff, but yum, I, I'd like some food too. I heard she won. Yeah. She won a game of, of hunger after eating the berries. It was great. Got anything you want to say? Oh, I have to think about this. See what I mean? I have to think See about this. See what I freaking one. mean? It's okay. so long. No, I think I think for me, when I've been asked questions in my life, I feel like I've learned a lot more when someone has asked me a question, even though they know the answer for the most part. They ask me the question still, and I had to think about it without them just telling me that. So that's how I that's how I get that's how I understand the question. Okay, so you flip flopped it. That's kind of cool too. So I mean, when someone asks a question, like I feel like. They're asking it knowing the answer so most of the time. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I don't know. Then you have time to think about it, I guess. I like that. What is your favorite... Oh, what is your cigarette? Oh, Boober, Boober was talking to me about this in Discord as he was writing this question. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of these. Because he said... I remember this one. So what is your cigarette? How do you take um, mild... Okay, mild intervals in your day for a break. That's what he's talking about. Like, kind of like a cigarette break. So like uh, it's almost like a. I mean, you probably probably understand, it, but he explained it to me as a like, like little like um, maybe distractions or breaks throughout your day to be able to get through it if it's something you don't like, like homework or I don't know. That's how that's how you explain it to oh, me. Oh, so it's just like a not something you're addicted to, something <clears throat> you like would take a break to that breaks. It's away from. it's just like if you, let's say you're working for a really long time on something like a video or something that it's not like the greatest or like the most fun, but you know like you need to do it. I like see. what's something that you'll do to kind of break away, but then come back like focused and and help you finish it in the long run. For me, it's games. I mean, depending on the amount of time I have during the little break, I'll either open up Pokemon Go, check for shiny Pokemon. I'll open up Clash of Clans now because that's my new thing. Or like in high school when I was working on a paper, I would. Every, like, 30 minutes, I'd play a couple matches of Halo, then jump back on the paper for another <clears> 30 minutes, for example. Um, nowadays, I've also thrown a little bit of, like, anime into the mix, because they're only, like, 20-minute long episodes. Watch an episode, do something else, or finish what you're doing, and then watch another episode later for another break. 
Just depending on how long I need the break to be. Like I said, if it's shorter, I just pull up Pokemon Go, but if it's longer, I'll do something else. Play a match of Call of Duty or something. Yeah, I'd say mine's similar. Watch an anime episode or watch some videos. Like, I've got a ungodly amount of videos in my Watch Later playlist, so... I don't know, I guess I'm easy going. I can't complain, dude. My days are easy as cake. Like, I, I legit spent six, seven hours a day working on videos, so I can't complain. Are you turn, you're Thane's little protege, huh? He's working on the little watch later. The watch and later the list too. Yeah, and the Sky, you're you're becoming what you swore you'd never I become. Swore just, well, this is my problem. Is <laughs> is like aside from my anime <laughs> kick that I was on for two months, I don't consume seven uh, years. I don't consume content that fast. So like that's why my watch later is built up is because I'll go I'll scroll through YouTube like I'll open it up in the morning. And before I start editing or anything, I'll put on some music and I'll just scroll through YouTube and see what's recommended to me. And I'll just hit watch later. So I'll get like 10 videos in 30 seconds in oh my, my watch gosh. later. Because I like to watch them during lunch. I think my watch laters have been struggling because I've been more picky with what I want to watch. Every time I look at my recommended, I maybe find one video that looks interesting to watch. Half the time it's, wow, I don't like any of the ideas of any of these videos. I don't care to watch any of them. What about you, Zay? Any cigarettes in your life? Any cigarettes? I just an eat, actual cigarette. I ate the entire cigarette in the butt. Just <laughs> um, probably just walk away. I I don't know. Walk away. Take a break. If you're like, it depends on what it is. If you have the chance to just walk away, that's what I would do. What would you do in your walking away, or is it just walking walk, away? In and maybe of walk away. Go get something to eat, or like drink some. I mean, go get something to drink, or like go outside. I don't know. Something like that. And my job is, is go to the bathroom. See, even that. There's yeah. a lot of people, though. Bathroom like, is just, it, even that in itself is, uh, sometimes it does it. Like, it just I bet breaks you away. I'll just go in there and sit for a little bit. Mm. <laughs> you just break away for a bit, yeah. Yeah. Who, is it, whose turn? Is it your me? Turn. Uh, <sighs> if you could say something to your younger self, what would you say? Just enjoy life, live in the moment. Yeah. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't think I'd want to change anything about my life up to this point. I think I would just tell myself to enjoy it a little bit more. Or a lot more. Or a lot more. Mine would just be, don't care about what people think of you. Because I learned that a little bit later in life. I would have liked to have known that earlier, probably. Um, Maybe kind of along the same groove of what Sky said. Maybe enjoy it up enjoy it more but also maybe I don't know I feel like there's a lot of time I, I not wasted but like I could have used for to put towards something like that could have benefited me later in life I don't know that probably that is the biggest thing like maybe work towards like a, a skill or a, something you can use you can develop later in life I don't know alright cool Um, if you could give something to your younger self what would you give them Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, can I give them all the knowledge I have now? Oh, I got an answer. That's broken, Sky. That's broken. I give them a uh, one ter- terabyte solid state drive, cause then I could beat everybody in my speeds. <laughs> <laughs> Sky <laughs> farted over here. Sky would give himself a, a fart. <laughs> yeah. Go back in like, time, just fart go. on him. Fart on his younger self. Yeah, I'm gonna make. Like, I'm go, gonna make Jerry. 15 year old Sky oh. broken and just give him all the knowledge I have now. That's what I choose. Final answer. Stamped it. That's broken, Sky. You can't do that. They it's patched that. Cheating. The latest update. Yeah, oh. they patched it. I'm reporting you for hacking. You aim botter. I don't know what else life. I give myself. Maybe I'll just. I've got it. I will write down in a book of all the things That's that what I was thinking. Too. I would <laughs> want to know. I would want my 15 year old self to know. I would write it all down in a book and then give him that book and say, "Here you go, bud. Do this." You better. No, do I it. don't know, because maybe that would dick me up and oh, it would I change my. I threaten him. Like, if you don't I, do this, I'm gonna come back and kill I you. I actually think that like my answer would change depending on the age. Let's just say 15 and solid line to start 15? a high school. 15. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of still like the solid state drive answer. <laughs> I mean, I don't really want to change my life too much, but yeah. like that would be something funny. Because in high school, my problem was always, like, Wi-Fi. I had terrible Wi-Fi. But imagine if my games loaded faster. That's just one extra step. I'd probably be on par with everybody else at that point, right? (laughs) 
<laughs> Maybe I'd be good at games now. Maybe I would have had all that practice that was actually good because my ping was my like because the ping was still bad, but my games yeah, were quick. You guys got to remember, Cole learned how to play games with lag. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Screw that lag, dude. I'm freaking rocking 80 ping plus most games of my entire life up until now. Anyway, well, I guess a couple of years ago, all high school, all high school, 80 plus ping every game without fail. That's a wiener in itself. itself. I played Halo 3 countless times at 120 ping. You just quit. Just What's crazy, local. though, is you knew what ping was at that point. There were times... I only knew what my ping was. That's literally it. I didn't know what <laughs> internet ping was. There were times when I would try <laughs> yeah, to ditto. lead people like a bird in a video game to try to predict where they're going to be <laughs> so I get them in their <laughs> ping compared to what mine was. <laughs> How dumb is that? That sucks. It was mostly with the grenades, because you, like, stick your grenades, you know, but, yeah. like, that was dumb. What would you do, Zay? What would you give yourself? A nice smack bottom? Yeah, a nice little, like, nice little kiss on the forehead. <laughs> no, I'd probably give, give him, him a hug. <laughs> he needed it then. <laughs> Maybe a, um, I like the idea of, like, a book. That's pretty cool. Either that or, like, I don't know. Oh, I got it. I got that's it. That's cool. I think that was You give cool. him a book of something that hasn't been out yet, and then you tell him to write it first. Oh, bro, like the Hunger Games or Harry or Potter. Or TikTok. Tell him to make TikTok. Or that's just My like or that's just like back in the that. back to the future with the the sports book. Yeah, yeah. the sports almanac. That'd be kind of cool, dude. Maybe something like that. Maybe I'll just give myself the lottery numbers then. It's just like, you know yeah, what? Yeah, here's the Powerball for like $100 million or something. Yeah, there just you go. take it easy the rest of your life. Or Don't invest, spend all invest in this company or something. Tell your parents to do that. I guess yeah, our parents, but. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I got it. I got it. Invest in Bitcoin. You definitely could, dude. Yeah, I'd be like, I'd be like, save up the entire summer, drop all your money in Bitcoin. Do it. You're do not going to regret this. Do it. Like, Ow. Even though you can't see it, invest in it. Do it, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't I'd think that a, would screw it up either. I think it'd be normal. Just make another person investing. I I'd don't think it, a, I don't think it would screw up like I would just anything be a of it. Billionaire, oh, you got so much money, so much money, dude. That'd be cool. All right, say number days. Um, what? This yes. is a co- odd question because it's your podcast. But what do you think I'll grow up and do? Be with the current knowledge you have on on me. This one is still me. Boober. Uber's asking us what he what we think he will be when he grows up. I think he's gonna be a salesman. Of what? Anything really, it doesn't matter. He could be You're a car a salesman. Product? He okay. could be a. Uh, I don't know. I just think he'd be a maybe good salesman. snake oil. He could be a elbow grease salesman. Yeah. Or he could be a yeah. uh, blinker fluid salesman. Yeah. Nice. He could probably be. He could probably sell like uh like Drano. Or at like yeah. A, like yeah something like that like I just think he'd be a good salesman I don't know yeah boober you could sell um you could sell boats car or yachts insurance. yeah or car insurance you, yeah you could be an insurance broker yeah you could be best friends with the little the little lizard from gecko yeah you could be best buds with Mister Gecko or you could get that flow girl's number if you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> boober the f- future is bright what, what you, about what that say, that girl that works at AT and T ooh Milkers. <laughs> that her, I don't know her name. I just know that she's exactly. Milkers. Everyone <laughs> says that. Yeah. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just adding to the the, the problem. Yeah, you're it's adding up to the pileups, guy. Her name's probably like Freaking Martha savage. or something sweet, dude. <laughs> and she just happened. Milkers. She just happened to have big breasts. You called her Milkers. I'm sorry, AT and T girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. Yeah. Please sponsor us, AT and T. Yeah. I, I love your products. Sponsored by AT and T girl. <laughs> Today's today's uh today's today's uh today's podcast is sponsored by Derek Gold. Uh, <laughs> the milkies. Oh. I can't stop. The reason why I, I every time I think about this is I see this video of her going on Instagram live or something. I saw like it too. That. Yeah. She's like, I don't know why you guys keep calling me milkies or yeah. milkers, but I don't <laughs> like it. I don't want it no more. It's like no. Stop! You're gonna ruin. It. You're gonna make it worse. You're gonna make it worse for yourself. Boober, I can see you as like a therapist, dude. You're really good at talking to people. Granted, you can be kind of harsh at times. I mean, you're not afraid to like drop the hammer on people, but still, you're a pretty good listener. And you're, I don't know. I've had some nice chats with you. Uh, Boober, probably. Um, 
I could see you, Boober, I think you could be an entrepreneur, honestly. I think, yeah, I think you have the knowledge to, be like, create something or, like, start something like start that. Start your own biz. Yeah. Why'd you keep scrolling? Well, because that's it. Oh. Unless you want to read that. No, I don't care. Let's keep going. Keep going. <laughs> All right. Is this me? Okay. Uh, no. Sure, yeah. All right. Thane asks, from Delicious Cancer, how much pain were you guys in for a certain length of time? Thane, the most pain I was in was when I had surgery on my butt. Um, it wasn't the surgery that caused pain. It was everything else. I stopped eating because pooping was a nightmare. If I laughed, it hurt my butthole. If I did anything, it hurt my butthole. Like, I had no idea how much you use your butt muscles just in your everyday life. I couldn't sit down. I couldn't sleep. Like, I slept on my side, but I couldn't even do that. I had to sleep on my stomach. Like, just, it was miserable. I was down for a month. Zay can, Zay can uh, attest. He saw the whole thing. It's horrible. Yeah. Zay saw things that probably no human should see. This guy showed me his... He saw my butt. Yeah. His gooch. Oh, I don't yes. think you saw the gooch, did you? Well, that's what it is, isn't <laughs> it? Did I goat you? You didn't see my nuts, did you? You showed me. You fell over. You fell over forward. And <laughs> you just like, like, spread. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, oh, freak, Ooh, like bro. One of those, my bad that's yeah. a sick <laughs> spreadsheet, dog. <laughs> my bad, Zay. <laughs> it's one of those anime scenes you. where I'm like, eh, and I fall over and I'm goating him. His oh. hand is just, my balls are in his hand. It's like, how do we end up here? Oh, fuck. So is that, what, is that what the gooch is? It's the nuts? No, it's the, the no, part. It's the taint. It's, it's in the, between yeah. the butthole and the sack. It's that little oh. landing strip. Yeah, it's the little, it's the little strip. It's like this. There's it's actually like the a part name. of your body. You know, that like looks the like seam it's like thing. Sewed. You know, like the seam. Yeah, 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 the seam. But the there's seam. a name for it though. There's all uh, Colby. Uh, she she was learning it in like her anatomy class. Well, see, girls I have forgot. a little tiny one, and then guys have like it's probably huge. triple, yeah, you know, or quadruple it's that like, size. It's like they sew their it's body also up on your right freaking, there. Your uh, your scrot. Yeah, they sew you up. They sew you up. The seam. How weird is that? What a weird yeah, thing. Yeah, genetics just that's where like that maybe that's where all of like Ouch. so you get put all you get all of like your bones and stuff put inside your body and that's like the end and just they just sew yeah, they, it up. Yeah. That's the end. Right the mom is just like That's just why that's why we think so much with our with our package is cuz that's where all of that's where we were that's where that was the final that's product. Where it ends. Yeah, that's where it ends. <laughs> that's it guys. Pain, we, guys. we just figured it out. What pain? For things. Um I honestly haven't had a lot of injuries in my life. There's a couple I can think of. Like, strep throat was terrible. When I got my wisdom teeth out and got a dry socket, that was terrible for quite a little bit. Um, honestly, recently when I had that terrible headache that one day when I was sick, oh my gosh, that was a nightmare. That headache was like the worst headache I think I've ever had. Uh, other than that, though, I really haven't had a lot of pain. I've been pretty dang lucky. Oh, maybe that one time they drilled into my my jaw. To like try to break up my jawbone to fix my jaw, mm -hmm. but even then I was still numbed up right there. So I don't know. Like I said, I've been super duper lucky when it comes to pain. I haven't had a lot of injuries. Granted, I think Thane's talking about physical pain. Emotional pain is on a whole new level for me, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's talking about physical. Yeah, thanks pain. a lot, Diana. Yeah. <laughs> you made me sad, next <laughs> guy. Yeah. You bitch. Do you have any physical pains, eh? Um, yeah, I used to work uh, with cows a while back. Oh. So I I guess there's this thing where, like, there's, like, a bacteria. I think I, like, working with cows all day, like, I think I got uh, poop in my mouth or, like, somehow got into my, my, my body. And I had, like, this bacteria in my body. And oh, it was probably, like, three days of, like, where I was just in bed. And, like, my stomach, like, I would, like, like diarrhea... I had, like, cold sweats, and, like, I was, like, I had a blanket on, but I was just freezing, and, like, I was sweating, and, like, I had, like, these shakes, and, like, I would just shake with pain, and it would just come in waves, like, throughout Ugh. the night. I just couldn't sleep. Oh, so, man. like, it was just, I was just, like, in and out of, like, consciousness and just laying there shaking all night, bro, for, like, three days. Being sick blows. Oh, my gosh. But this sickness was something else, man. It was, like, it wasn't normal, like... Cause I would just sit there and just shake and like roll in pain. Like I was yeah. just, there's nothing I could do to get out of it. And like, oh man, bad stuff. That's probably it. Ooh. Well, I think we can skip that one from Finn Jake. Sorry, Finn Jake. We're gonna skip nope. your question. Say yes. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. Yes, I'm gonna say yes to that one. Number thirteen from Mustache King four hundred four. 
How long is cold in a closet furry? <laughs> Hmm. It no longer closeted. <laughs> I guess Got I'm him. out. <laughs> Poggers. It's like, damn it, mustache. No. Poggers in the chat. Poggers. I don't even like Pokemon like that. Poggers. <laughs> I'm not a furry. Poggers. Zay, you got this one? Cole got exposed. Uh, <laughs> paper or plastic? From our boy Fruit Snacks, by the I way. I guess from, from bags, snacks. right? Don't matter. She'll have it. Shopping sprees. I know it's not <laughs> ethical, but I definitely prefer plastic bags. They don't rip as Wait, easily. Wait, are we talking about bags? Is that what we're talking about? I think it's just about anything. I don't know. <laughs> oh. It doesn't say bags on there. Um, just, I just assumed. Because oh. that's normally the question that is associated with bags. Like from the grocery store. Okay, let's do like paper plates or plastic. Should we do like dishes? That's a common ground. Would you rather have pa- paper dishes or or like reusable plastic? Oh, I, g- I got a better one. I better you got a better one. Straws, plastic. Yeah, plastic paper straws suck. Yeah, they do. But it's kind of like a fun a novelty straw. thing. I don't know if I've ever have. I don't think I've it's ever like an ethical thing. That's what they're trying to do is switch over to p- paper because it's or better the metal for the environment or the metal ones. The metal. Well, yeah, straws those are too. like the reusable ones. Those are yeah. a little bit different. Um, probably plastic. You heard it here first. Yeah. The Radcats are not very eco-friendly. Sorry about that, oh, everybody. Sorry, guys. We let you down. Is this one you say? Yeah, 15, can you feel the love tonight? I'm doing my best, Simba. I'm doing my best. I think I can. Oh, gosh, I am a furry. Can you feel <laughs> yeah, the love Yeah, I feel the love. Tonight. Okay, Boober, how much money is too much money? I think that is a question that only an individual can answer. True. Honestly, I thought about that. Um, I think it's when you get to the point where it's like money doesn't matter. Like you don't even bother keeping track of how much money you have. Like you know, like you kind of like keep books on yourself a little bit. Like you yeah. track your money. You should. Yeah. And that's what anyone. If you have money, that's what you should. I'm sure do. at some point, if you have enough money, you just don't anymore. You I think when stop. you can start paying somebody else to take care of your money, that's probably when you have too much money. Yeah. When you're paying somebody else to count your money because you can't be bothered. Maybe then I don't know. But well, no, 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 that's not true because people, bu- people get accountants all the time. Understood. Understood. That's not because they like they do taxes and stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> I wouldn't count that then. Well, what if you have an accountant because you don't want to count your money at all? Like you're just making so much money that you're like, okay, accountant, you deal with it. Because I feel like most people get accountants for just tax season specifically. I guess don't that's they? true. Yeah, it's a little different, I guess. I don't know. I'm saying like a personal accountant that works for you full time. I should have I should have said that. Only works for you, does not work for anybody else. Like you are paying this accountant his yearly salary to just count your money. How's that? Is that a better answer than Yeah, that's better. Okay. I don't know. Like I, I think it's gotta be just like you just got too much money. Like I wouldn't say you're a millionaire if you have too much money. I'd say by the time you get to a billionaire, you definitely got too much money. <laughs> I think if somebody has like, I think in the five to tens of millions of dollars is a lot of excess money. Unless you're just a freaking spendy tendy. I don't know, because what if you just got a lot of like assets, and that's why you're that's why you got a lot of money. So like, so you got a, like a big house you're paying off basically. You know, you got a lot of land you're kind of paying. See, and off. that's probably why it's relative to the individual, because like right now, I wouldn't say I have too much money, but I definitely make enough to like live. I live dirt cheap. Yeah. So like, if I were making like. That's why you can't afford to shave. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's relative dirt. to the individual. <laughs> but I mean, I think that's a good like common ground. Like, where the if you get to the point to where you're not, you can't be bothered because you're not counting your money at all anymore. Probably then, maybe you have too much. I don't know. Maybe just lazy. Hmm. Alrighty. Who whose turn? Your turn. No, it's their turn. It's their turn. This is also from Fruit Snacks. Well, the last one's from Boober. I don't know. I don't think it's possible to have too much money. I think it depends on how you use it. Because if you're using it for like good causes and you're not, you're not taking advantage of people. Well, like Jeff Bezos, though. Yeah. See, I think he's taking advantage you, of people. No. Do though. you think he just has too much money? Because he's not doing anything. He's just acquiring it. Yeah. That. But that's. But then it goes back to like a moral thing of like how you're using it. I don't know. Because want to hear. I a think very, it could very be. good. Uh, uh, example that I heard. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, 
But money is like manure. If it piles up, it stinks. But if you spread it out and share it within the market, it makes things grow. Nice. <coughs> That's a, a simile? Me? Metaphor? Metaphor. Probably a metaphor. metaphor. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think it depends on if if you use it or not for mm-hmm. good things, for righteous things, and not take advantage of people. Work them to death. Um, number seventeen from Fruit Snacks. Can you you oh can you see why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch? Why did you say kids, Mike? We're not sponsored, Mike. Don't why did you say toast crunch. why did you say kids, Mike? Copyright. I, I think l- I, I like love it. cinnamon toast crunch. It's great. I don't eat it often, but when I do, it hits different. Oh, I love it. I wish I could see the taste of it. Oh yeah, Cole lost his sense of taste. Is that not true? How dare you, Cole? How dare you? Get, how Bell. dare you? How dare you lose your I sense, didn't of lose taste, my sense of taste? You freaking I lost, jerk! I lost my sense of um, pride, of, um, <laughs> self-respect, <laughs> solid poops. Oh, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. That's, a Ew. that's, funny anyway. that's gross. Next question. Yeah. No, Mike. I love cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, at Thane, Delicious Cancer says, "How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop?" I'm glad he edited that. I wonder what it said before. Yeah, three Thane. At least three. <laughs> 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 That's my answer. Hey, yeah. Number nineteen for Brother Boober. Can rabbits eat tricks? I mean, they could, but probably not good for them. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's ask <laughs> 2004. 20. Does, does, what does that say? Does one's, uh, one's personality, personality affect what colors they like most? I think so. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. I, w- I would lean towards yes. I would definitely wait, so can yes. you, can you, can you judge somebody's personality based upon what color they like? Wait, 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 wait. I'm very interested in this topic. But also, describe, can one of you guys describe um the color blue to me? Blue? How would you describe blue to me? I'm let's say I, I I'm colorblind. How would you describe blue to me? Like what what is it like? Very happy, very calming. I was thinking almost oppressive and like rainy. Okay. Is that how you see blue? Well, when I think of blue, I think of like the blues, the blues oh. or kind of like you're feeling blue. See, when I think of blue, I think of like the blue sky and the blue ocean and. Well, the sky was my first thought, but then he said he was colorblind, so I'm like, I don't do anything. That's true. Well, colorblind. I, I think is it's hard to blind? Des- I think it's hard to describe blind colors. Blind people can oh, still yeah, see the I think sky. It's difficult to describe colors. Well, yeah, but that's not going to describe the color. It's like, hey, hey, Skylar, you're not blind, are you? Or you're not colorblind, are you, right? Yeah, I am. No, say so you're not. I No, I'm not. <laughs> you know I'm okay? And you're going to say, <laughs> you're, what color are your pants? Blue. Me too, right? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> well, I guess that's a darker blue. Blackish blue. Just say it's blue. Blue. Okay, it's blue. Yeah, see? Wow. See, it doesn't do anything for you. It's like, man, your pants are the same color as the sky. Cool. Wow, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Hey, that doesn't describe the no, color. You're it's right. just like, wow, look, but it's the same looking. I'm just saying how you describe blue is different from how I would describe it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. But having the sky as the example is not the greatest. Sorry, mustache week. I shouldn't ask that question. I do think that. But what was your question, Sky, about the personality affecting colors? I don't know. I guess I just have to look it up to see how, see what colors are associated with what personalities. Because blue's my favorite color, so I'm curious to know what personality that would be. I feel like blue. I know I've read a lot of things, but red. I thought like red meant like, kind of like more, more like forward and bold. But then blue is like I feel like blue is more calm and relaxed. See, that's how I would describe. I think it. that's I think that, but I think those two. That's like legitimately like that's it's oh, a that's real what thing. It is. Oh, I think okay. it's a real thing, but I don't know. I think it definitely does though. It's ironic that I think it does as well. But my favorite color is black. But I like the color black specifically because it looks really good with almost everything. Facts. So I don't know. If I mean, this guy isn't wrong. Makes my personality or anything, but yeah, he ain't wrong, guys. All right, this is also from Mustache King. Which field in engineering do you find the most interesting? Probably like computer engineering, just because where computers are going is kind of mind blowing for me. Especially like quantum computers, they're nuts. If you guys have looked into those. You'll have your little peepees blown. I always liked the... You, that's not what I meant. Your brains will be blown. I retract that statement. I retracted 
your brains, not peepees. <laughs> I always like just like thinking of like me- mechanisms in general. So just the way I don't know what the field is, but it's just I guess it's just engineering as a whole in that sense. But like specifically making the products, so you know like mechan I guess mechanical engineering that's probably what it'd be. Because, like, when I think of, like, the feet of an automobile, you know, the engine, the rotary engine, like, that's, I guess not rotary, yeah, it's rotary engine, that's what it's called. It's a combustion engine, internal combustion engine, that's what it's called. Like, that's insane to me, like, holy crap, oh, somebody ice, made that, that Somebody was smart. I forgot about that, the ice, yeah, the ice, or the ICE, I forgot about it. Yeah. 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 And other things like that, like even something simple as like how a pen works. Like who decided, who thought a pen would work? You know, you click, click, you know, boom, works. Click, click with the ball. It's insane. And then once it happens, that's the standard. That's pretty cool. That's I love thinking cool. about that little stuff, like the little mechanisms and whatnot. You guys know how a microwave works? Just microwave radiation. is mind blowing. It's just the radiation. Microwaves, but so the microwaves, it's slowly all they killing do us. is they just heat up water molecules. Cancer. So that's why if you put something in the microwave. That has no water in it, or I think it's I think it's water specifically. It could be liquid, but I'm pretty sure it's water. Microwaves just heat up water molecules, and that's how your food can get warm. So if there's no liquid in there, or water moisture, no, no. I you know think? I know someone that doesn't use them, doesn't use microwaves because they they believe that the cancer? radiation is causing cancer. Yeah, or or, or like even or if like they use if they use it too. on food, they're eating it. What about a cell phone? I don't know about that, but I know for sure they've. I've talked to them about microwaves before. I see. I see. Tell them right. to get a job. Um, um, I find architectural engineering is that a real thing? Yeah, sure. I don't know. I think it's so interesting, like when buildings are built to, um, for example, like they're earthquake proof or there's like yeah. they're just built like in a way a that skyscraper and oh, like man, the only crazy. they only figured that out through like. Like natural disasters and problems, so error, I think that's beautiful. I think those are. I think buildings are awesome. All right, who's is he, Cole? What's your opinion on the morality of cloning? Ooh, that's a tough old question. That's, that's a sure. very tough one. So my thought process is like I'm not sure because like I'm curious. I kind of want to see if what would happen. <laughs> Definitely would like to see what would happen if, if they everyone tried was it. assigned a clone. No, no, if so, if they made a clone, like, what would happen? Like, no. do you think it'd be pretty sentient, or do you think it'd just be kind of like a dumb, dumb? I, I think, think if they did it, animals, I think if I they know. did it first, I think the first one's probably not going to be very conscious. But I think as they get going more, then it's yeah. going to become more, yeah, Honest, more like like an exact clone of you. I think it's very similar to AI, I, um, especially AI in the advanced future, where it's like AI is almost like a human. It's almost like it's sentient on its own. I think it's going to be very similar to that. I feel like we're going to have a very similar conversation with coming with that. And I always thought AI was okay, so I guess cloning could be okay too. I think for me it's kind of situational based, but like I'm I don't know much about cloning, but like let me ask you guys this question is um people breed animals all the time, right? They breed cows so cows can get slaughtered to get sent for meat. Well, would you say that it's morally worse or better or equal if you're just cloning cows and just sending the clones off to the slaughter. Like, I don't know. I f- to me it's the same It'd thing. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like it's situational based with cloning for me. That I don't sad. know where I stand though. I mean there's kind of like there's also like they're genetically modifying food though so it's like more yeah. nutrient dense or like they can make they're, I mean, that's, that's already happening. That's a completely different thing, though. But that, I mean, that's in the same like you're like you're altering the genetics, how it is. The so like, that's isn't altering though; it's copying. But yeah, in a way, but still, you're they're gonna alter it so that it becomes more so it serves one person or serves a purpose. It's not just gonna be to do it to but do it. But a clone it. is yeah, just a copy. Could, though. Well, they could I make feel the like, clones like bigger, like strong. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna. I feel like they're gonna then modify it, would a, it. It wouldn't really be a clone then. That's still It'd a clone. A it's just it's a modified clone. It's just like AI. I guess. Literally like AI. I mean, I, I feel like that's what's going to happen. First, like, yeah. starting out, it's not going to be like that, but I think after a while, they're like, okay, how far can we push it? So it's always how far can we, yeah. can we push yeah. it. So See, I feel like AI would be better. I <laughs> Like, if you're going to make, like, robots specifically to do specific jobs, I feel like AI is a better route, more the moral high ground to take over cloning people. Like, if that makes any yeah, sense. Yeah, that's true. That said, I was gonna say I don't really want myself to be cloned either. I don't know. What about I, having a cute little coal baby? 
and kissing him. Uh, we only need one of me in the world. No, you don't want to have kids? You kiss Cole. It's a little different. You yeah, kiss you're right, your clone. But that's, that's what I was. Wait, so what? What, what is it considered if you kiss your clone? Is it incest or almost like self? <laughs> self. <laughs> Sis. Yeah, if you self jerks yourself off as a masturbation or homosexuality. <laughs> well, tune in in ten years when you. <laughs> I wish someone would ask that question. I must ask, why didn't you follow up at twenty three? <laughs> what? I was gonna say real quick before we move on to the next one. Um, I would almost compare genetically modifying as having a kid, because like you're technically ge- genetically modifying your. But that's own already genes. that's already happening, you know, too. That's already like being, because like now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've had GMOs for the past thirty years. But there are, but like now, a woman doesn't need a male to produce a baby. Like they can freeze their eggs, or they can use like I think it's like some like their cells out of their own body to make a baby, and that's it. That's nuts. They don't even need, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That there's just more options now rather than just like the the common like how it's always been. But oh man, I don't know. Next one from Finn Jake Ten YT Twenty Three Pixelmon Mod or Pokemon Game? Pokemon Game. Pixelmon Mod. Pokemon Game. All right, I'm glad we're divided on that one. Fruit next number twenty four. How does it oh, make you? Gosh. Oh, today's turn. Sorry. Is this backwards? Uh, or is it is it just I, I think I know what it is. Uh how does it make you feel when I say uh, Ushisara I don't really want to read this anyone else wanna read it? Oni Tori Ushi Uma Tori Nitori Initori Me Ushi Itoshi. You know this guy? He suji ne gene saru tori tatsu tori ushi uma he suji tora me ne saru o I like how Tatsu Click on the thing below it, below it to see who reacted to it. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is it Hatsune Miku or something? Ushi Saru Ne I Tori Ushi Uma Tori Ne Tora Ina Tora. I think, I think it's the Water Dragon Jutsu. Couldn't I'm pretty dang sure it's the Water Dragon Jutsu from Naruto. It makes me feel all sorts of things, Mike. It makes you feel wet. Okay. <laughs> <It's> from <laughs> <the> Water Dragon <laughs> Jutsu. <laughs> from Brother Boober. How do you get motivated to do work? Uh, Boober, if you find something you really enjoy doing, you will always be motivated because you love doing it. That's how I stay motivated. I set myself deadlines, and I meet my deadlines. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang, that was a deep <laughs> dig. I didn't even mean for a feet of a dig, but it definitely was. <laughs> What's funny is before Thane left, he's like, you know what? He he was like telling Zay and I why he was gonna what he was gonna tell his parents that he brought his whole computer set up. He's like, Mom, I've let these guys down for like two months. I haven't made a video in two months. I've gotta months. do this. I gotta edit this. And I'm like, All right, Thane, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Zay? Um I think it depends on what it is. I don't know. Um, I always think about like what I'm doing it for and like how I'll feel after I'm done with it. And I mean, if you're, if it's, it, you should get to the point of like where it doesn't feel like work. You got to get to the point of like where like you realize you have a goal in mind and you just, you just do it and you realize you'll feel better afterwards Mm -hmm. if you complete it. Nice. All right, Cole, what's your question? Number 26. Cole, what got you fascinated with Pokemon to begin with other than just liking as a kid and what kept it with you all this time? Um, honestly, at first, it was a way to connect with my best friend Jake because he got me back into it. But then that progressed to just liking the the characters and you know collecting them. The collection aspects is the number one thing for me as of now though. I really like the fact that I can collect them and do different ways of collecting them and being able to carry them over to the next games and stuff like that. Like I I really like collecting specific things, like specific Pokeballs you catch Pokemon in, specific ways to get specific Pokemon. Of course, the shiny ones, you know. It's really just the collection aspect. I love collecting, and I love that every new game is just another addition to being able to collect them in another way. Also, catching Pokemon sucks. Amen. Collecting them's great, though. Amen. <laughs> okay, number... Uh, oh, I guess 81. I'll read, yeah, I'll read yours. Okay. Just go, no go. <laughs> Sky, what got you fascinated with video making? Um, I don't know, Boober. I just like telling stories. I've always loved telling stories, and videos is just an outlet for me to tell stories. All right, number 28, Zay, what got you interested in beat making? Um, I grew up a really big fan. Still am a very big fan of, like, hip-hop music and, like, just the whole 
thing behind it. But then as I got into it, like I think sound is probably the coolest thing on this planet. Um, just, and it's almost like you, you can bend sound and there's so many things you can do with sound and like ways that you can affect it that, I don't know. It's one of the, it's the coolest thing once you like you get into it. It's the coolest thing ever. All right. Um, is this mine? And if fix here, what got you fascinated with freestyling? Who inspired you? I'll answer it for him. <laughs> uh, Ice JJ Fish. <laughs> good buddy, Marble Red. Yeah, probably Marble great. Red. Probably Marble Red. <laughs> All right, thick. You got to answer. Thick. You got to answer this one in the comments, okay? Thick. You better answer this freaking question. All right. What all? What got all of you interested in video games? My father. But more specifically, I like the idea of being able to control a character and take a character on a specific journey, a.k.a. experiencing the story, what I talked about earlier. But yeah, my dad and my mom. Relationships for me is another big one. I mean, when I was a kid, it was my brother playing Pokemon and Zelda with him, Metroid, all those things, and then getting back into games a little bit later with my you know, my good friend Jake. I've talked about him a second ago. Uh, he play, Playing Halo with them, playing Halo, playing... Other multiplayer games, Smite with all my buddies, uh, car racing games. I love cars. Pokemon, of course. But right now, the one of the biggest reasons I prefer, I really like to play games is getting lost in a world that I that escapes from this one essentially. That's why I really like these long RPGs because it's just a whole entirely new world that you can't find anything like that in the real life. And he just stops talking to us for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> to be fair, Persona Five really wasn't like that. It kind of was something in the real world, but it was like living high school magic again. Too. Yay. Yeah, and I like high school too. So, um, probably the idea of like being able to, um, experience things that you would never be able to experience. Like, I think it's so cool. You, there's things in video games that like you can play without like if you die, like. It doesn't affect you in real life. No so like there's yeah, there's like the it's limitless in the fact that you can just do whatever and I don't know, it doesn't affect you at all. I think that's pretty cool. Cool. I need some do. Have you ever thought about investing in stocks or index funds? And if so, what would you or have you invested in and what's your reason behind it? Currently I have a couple stocks. I have stock in I have Exxon. I have one stock in Exxon Mobil, four stocks in IMAX, and one stock in what's it called again? Sun Power. Um, Sun Power was actually the free stock I got from Robinhood when I signed up. <laughs> um, Exxon Mobil is just a gas company. I bought all these when COVID was coming around, so they were really, really low. They're not going super, super high now. I got four stocks in IMAX. Is really hoping that the return of the movie theater is going to happen soon. Yikers. Still waiting. Yikers. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> um, overall, though, I was just interested in it because it was something to do with – I only put like 100 bucks in it. It was just something to do trying to see what it would be like. You know, I've always kind of been interested in the stock market. And I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to try to see if I could make some money off of it. You know, it's almost like a, it's like a bank kind of. You kind of just save your money, store your money that way. Yeah. Also gains interest, quote-unquote interest. I don't know anything about stocks. I've never invested in stocks, and I don't have a reason for it, but it's just never piqued my interest, I guess. Maybe one day I'll decide to grow up and do it. I'd like to eventually, but no, we were up until now. I have not. Hey, let me hook you guys up with my Robinhood code so I can get a free stock from you guys. Thanks. And eh, no. Just make no, fake thanks. accounts. No, Cole, I think I'm going to do it. I, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it just to get around that. That's okay. <laughs> You'll get a free stock, too, you know. <laughs> okay, Cole, fine. I'll download it. Yay. Okay, you got this one, Zay? Uh, you have probably heard this question, but where do you see yourself in 20 years and why? Question mark. Dang, that's a hard one because 20 years is like ha like double what I've already lived in my current life. I know, life. isn't that nuts? Uh, I would probably like want to be married and have a kid or two and hopefully still be doing YouTube videos or something in the in the entertainment media industry. Yeah, my answer is exactly the same as Skylar's. Um, we should get married. To not each other, though. Like, to other people. But then have it, have it be like an open relationship where we can still sleep with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Zay, are you saying you want in on this? Zay wants in? <laughs> he just died to it. He totally oh wants in. Oh, my gosh. Um... 
Uh, I'd like to, I'd like to have a home that, that, that I own. I think that'd be sick. The idea is freaking cool. Having your own the house. idea of not having to move all your stuff is cool. And me. having your own house yeah. and just knowing you're going to die in that house. Freaking <laughs> sick as, <laughs> sick as frick, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. And be married, of course. Yeah. Um. F- oh, yeah, it's not mine. It's yours. Uh, from Brother Boober. Favorite food. Lasagna. Lasagna. Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Cold <laughs> one's banana. Cold one's banana. Shoot. Um, first thing that came to me was I really like cheese filled ravioli. Wait, oh, real talk. It just hits different, dude. Oh. Lasagna's your favorite? Yeah. I thought you were just making a meme. I'm not going to no, lie. Yeah. I have to love Italian food, but Literally. specifically lasagna. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only problem is there's a freaking peen load of oh, cheese. Yeah, <laughs> Shagna. Uh, and uh, I don't Lassing have it. Gen- I don't have it very often. So. <laughs> Lassing- <laughs> what you say? Lassing- 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 <laughs> Number 34 is still from Boober. I know Cole's first job because of Radcats Gaming sub today. It's free. <laughs> but what is everyone else's first job? I mowed lawns as a wee lad. I don't know if that counts. Um, first official job, Scott. He's never had an official job up I until now. I haven't up until now. My He's first official job, cod. I guess, uh, aside from mowing lawns and doing stuff for myself or working for my father, uh, is now I'm a music teacher. I guess that's my first official job. I teach music. What's yours, Cole, for people that don't know? Answer it, Cole. Working on a farm. Uh, um, I was technically on the payroll, I guess you'd count that. But it was my dad's farm. Uh, but if not, if you don't count that, a video game store. Yeah, first official one was um, I was employed by other, someone other than my family was um, a grocery store. I bagged groceries. Was it Smith's? Nope. Different one. Albert I can't say that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Albertsons. Albertsons doesn't even think anymore in I that know. town. Not in that, yeah. They're gone. Not in that town. They got run out. Um, uh, I was a 35. Yeah. Can I use my free Twitch Prime subscription on Radcats on slash Radcats? Question mark. Yes, yes, and you should. Mm-hmm. Unless if you can find someone else that's that's better better Be fitting or better suited, then do it. But if not, then sure. Hey guys, get us to ten subs so we can get a new emo. Thanks. I did that one. Appreciate it. Sorry for all the questions. And Cole, before you say it, I know this isn't a question. Roasted. All right, Cole, you got the next one. <laughs> What's a bit of knowledge you want to share with everyone being even as something? Oh crap, I can't read. With everyone <laughs> being even something as simple as washing your hands. Oh, a bit of knowledge. Oh, okay. Knowledge. Um. Learn how to drive. Even if you can't drive cars in your city, do it. Just learn. You never know. Find your passion. Find something that you want to do for the rest of your life. If you find it while you're young, then you don't have to figure it out when you're older. Treat everyone with respect. Even if they're not that deserving of it, still do it. Yeah, don't be a jerk. I like that one, Zay. Thank you. Thank you for adding that one in. Yeah. Um, is it 37? No, 38. Oh, 38. Uh, how has the cough, cough, slash Rona affected your daily life? I have to wear a mask all day, and I can smell my mask breath, and it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just some minor inconveniences here and there, such as a mask. I don't know. I've not had a bit, I've not really been hugely affected by it. At one point, I thought I had it. I'm not sure. There's a good chance I could have had it. The camera's dead. That's how you know we've been going for long. There's yet. a good chance I could have had it at one point. So who knows? Um, I work in the health industry. That's I. Yeah, it's been a very tough time. <laughs> <That's all laughs> it's been say. hard. Very tough time. That's about it. We've been very fortunate though, as far as like we've all been able to keep our jobs and stuff. So yeah, very I'm fortunate. Into that. All right, also from Boober, what would you do for $1,000? I don't know. I mean, I'd shake somebody's hand. I'd eat a Klondike bar. Why don't we go extreme? Guys, do something extreme. Really work for that money. I would eat burnt popcorn. You, I would that's on fire. Stub my toe on a on a couch. Just ram it into it. Just 
<laughs> and says uh, over there, like, go extreme. And I say, it goes, oh, no. Like, not yeah, that. That's I'd, what we're I'd rather, like, not that won't do that. I'd rather, like, I'd rather do, like, um, maybe, like, a freaking cannonball into, like, some glass, like, window panes and just go right through them. Like, they're, like, laid die. out flat. There's, like, ten yeah, of them. Yeah, that would die. Just die. Down. Up, dude, and kill you. Oh, no, I'd be covered with, like, at least some protection. I'm still getting uh, hurt, but I'm going to have, like, some padding Maybe you could something. jump in, like, a fat sumo suit. Would you do meth? For a thousand bucks, yeah, no, that could ruin your life. Yeah, do no, th- Cole, maybe for like no, two million. Cole, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing a stunt. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna do mad. <laughs> no, I would probably, um, I'd, uh, I'd hold on to like the back of a car, get going really fast, and like on a skateboard or something, then jump through a ring of fire for a thousand bucks. That's what I would do. I'll like a jump ramp, out of a off car? a ramp, jump out of them. How yeah. fast is it going? Sixty. Do I have any like protection or anything? A helmet or anything? I mean, you're wearing a sweatshirt. It's pretty thick. Box, damn. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna come out with road rash? Yeah, dude. I just don't want to hurt mean, my head and have to use more than a, the bushes. Use more than a thousand dollars to get to go to the you hospital. Jump off into the bushes, but you don't know what's gonna be over there. I might take you my jump, chances. You jump into like a just a family of bears, <laughs> or just you, a or just a bunch of branches is gonna hurt too. Ugh. Yeah, <sighs> dang, that's really fast, Cole. Yeah, I might do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd do it for a thousand bucks. Is I cool, think, bro. I don't think I'd do sixty miles an hour. It's scary. I maybe do like thirty or forty. That's still scary. <laughs> that's, too. Still that's, fast. A, that's still less. That's than gonna six. hurt. Yeah, it's still gonna hurt though. All right, next question. Sorry. Yeah, thanks, Boober. How far would society be if there was no personalities or preferences or anything to do? Would you think there'd still be farther or more behind if I wanted to do this? <laughs> I want this. Um, I don't think it'd be as far along, just because people wouldn't. People would be so apathetic, they don't think they'd care. A lot of modern inventions are created because people want to have their life be easier. And that would be gone. All of those would be gone. So things like the internet would probably be gone. Things like the freaking cars would probably be gone. You'd simply riding horses around, you know? Yeah, I'd say we'd be a lot farther behind. Your answer can't argue with you that logic. Am right, gamers? You want me to go first? Yeah, you always go last. Yeah, yeah see what I'm saying, this guy? Yeah, give me some. It's because I, y- I let you guys just answer. I figure you guys are gonna answer anyway, so I just let it go. Well, you're gonna answer too. <laughs> I mean, I want to hear you answer. He doesn't let it go because um, he wants more time to think. I know him. No, I wish there were no personalities or preferences. Then all of us could just have the same things. We could be like in one of those books, Hunger Games. I don't know if that's it, but <laughs> no, I wish no one had a personality or preference, and then every Harry Potter. then everyone didn't. They didn't have to. Yeah, there was no like competition or comparison or anything. Just yeah, just let it be. Code Geass. Everyone gets the same. Yeah, same food or clothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do book. that. All right, Sky, go ahead. Uh, I think. I mean, I agree with Cole. I think that uh, our differences and our different personality types is what propels people to do better, want more, and to do great things. I think it's the differences that makes people, for me, interesting. If we I were just all, realized we're off camera. I can do whatever I want now. Yeah, if we were all the same, then I think life would be bland and boring. Cole, zip your pants up. I'll do what I want, Zay. Can't tell me. Okay. The webcam is on. Zay got this one. Uh, 41 for Mustache King. Uh, what is everyone's spirit animal? Oh, An eagle. I've been told that was a horse what before. If, what if we just say it for other person? I didn't like Should that. Should we say it for the other person? For the other members, I feel like Cole would be a bear. He could be cute and cuddly at times, but he he can also bring the hammer down. Yeah, Cole, well, you can get real. I fierce. was thinking of Zay as like a fox or a crow. What's in the middle of that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Usually, I don't know. Crows, no. sur- uh, crows flying around. Zay's like a Zay's like a like a an animal that kind of. I feel like hunts at night. It it likes to do yeah, things when, fox or when crow. nobody else when nobody else is around. Maybe like a bat or an owl. An owl. <laughs> he's an owl because he's wise, and he only he only hunts at night because he doesn't like people to know what like what's going on. He likes to be in the shadows. Sky, you're a hamster. What the hell? My <laughs> <laughs> hamster. You're it's like, the Hampton special. You like Hamtaro. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Hampton special. No, I'd say Sky is. Um, the hermit crab. No, I'm snail. <laughs> What's something that can attack but usually chooses not to? Oh, like a sloth, maybe? No. There is something, though. You're not wrong. It's definitely a thing. Yeah, something like that. Like, he chooses not to attack, but, like, if he's forced to, he oh, will. Oh, how about, like, a male tiger? 
Because they have the female tigers go get them their food, and the male just kind of just vibes. I'm just a lazy bastard. Yeah. Hell could yeah. Be. But if you have to attack, you probably... And I got a harem of women with me always. Definitely Or it not. could be like well, a... I mean, tigers do, but Skylar doesn't. Or it could be like um something that, yeah, that defends... It. Maybe like a porcupine that can defend itself. They don't go out of their way to attack, but if something attacks it, then it's going to be able to defend itself. Maybe a house cat? It's <laughs> 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 just getting worse. I don't like cats. <laughs> because it's kind of mm. like a tiger, but not as cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bastard. <laughs> I hate you. I think there's like spirit animal quizzes. I might have to. I thought we did it. Yeah, one we time. should. Uh, have Next we? question. We, I think we did a personality one, maybe. Mm. From we should. Finn we should Jake do a. Per- we should do a spirit animal. Y-T. One. We Can you guys order Thane some chicken? He won't be able to eat it, Finn. Yeah. I don't know if he said if no. Finn's been around or not. We'll no do it. We'll, the answer. We'll do it to torture him, but yeah, he won't be able to eat it. <laughs> he really needs some chicken. All right, so you got forty tree. Um, Mustache King, are we allowed to ask difficult questions related to controversial topics like your opinion on the tokenization theory or how you would fix public? Education. I don't even know what a tokenization is. Let's look it up. How? What's your opinion on public ed- education? Um, though? I mean, I think it should do more funding. Oh, but I heard about an interesting thing the other day. There's a town in in northern Idaho. I forget what it's called. It's some some dumb place in northern Idaho. Anyway, um, it's it. There's two town. Ta- there's two high schools in this town. The town's probably like maybe five to ten thousand people. One high school is, like, focused on athletics, while the other high school is focused more on arts stuff. And so both of their budgets only have to go to one thing, and their budget for the other thing isn't as much money. That seems really clever, because some kids go, hey, I'm more artsy. I'm going to go to the arts high school and get a better education on the art stuff. And then another one's like, I like balls. I'm going to go to the (laughs) The athletic one, and then they were a little bit mistaken which kind it was. But you know what I mean. It's a clever idea. That's that kind of stuff should be done more. Some kind of more of a like a, just a way to focus more on the specifics of what you could learn. And we had this a little bit too with us. We had the tech center, which had more specific classes, like an automotive class or you know IT health. classes, health classes, health classes. Yeah. I think mine's similar. Like, um, well, a quote that I've that I'm sure everybody's heard is, "If you tell a fish to climb a tree, it's gonna think it's stupid its whole life." And I know that there's a lot of kids that go to high school. Well, I guess just public school in general, and some stuff just doesn't click with them. But like in most public schools, you get a general education, which, mind you, I think is good because I think you need to know a little bit about um, a lot of things. But I also believe what Cole's saying. I agree with him in that if the public education could somehow play towards kids' strong suits and help them develop and kind of encourage them to pursue careers in that aspect. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, that's really good. I pick that. <clears throat> yeah, the public education system definitely needs to change. <laughs> but I also think um, teachers <laughs> teachers need to get paid more. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I, I agree think teachers that. need to get paid a lot more for all the, the garbage you have to deal with. All, sh- all your shit kids out there, guys, whoever's listening. Yeah. Power to the teachers. Yeah. Power you know, to the people, teachers, guys. Some teachers yeah, power to the suck, players. though, dude. Oh, there's some, some, there's some, teachers horrible, suck. Suck. There's some horrible <laughs> teachers that don't deserve it, but there are a lot that put in a lot of work and are great that, that yeah, that don't. BS. Yeah. Stupid Tommy. So what's that word, Zay? So tokenization. I looked up a definition, so I guess it can be applied to different things, but it says... Is a process of turning meaningful a meaningful piece of data such as an account number into a random string of characters called a token that has no meaningful meaningful value if breached. Tokens serve as reference to the original data but cannot be used to guess those values. So it's like a way to encrypt data? Yeah. If it's applied to that, I guess. So to to yeah, like data security or data. That's what. Wait, it, did you type in tokenization theory? It says I typed that in, but then it also it just gave me like a bunch of like definitions. So I just typed in definition to find one. Um, and data encryption is always good, right? Yeah, you don't want people. I'm to sure we're stuff. missing something here. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I, yeah sorry. That, what's it? What does it apply to? Mustache. Sorry. Leave it. Leave a comment down below. Yeah, we're sorry. 
Okay, uh, bananas or oranges? Boober, I eat bananas all the time, but I definitely love oranges. They're just never in season. So oranges. Bananas are tasty. Banana. I want I banana. love both. I can't pick boober. I'm take both. Um, from saying boy. Another question. I'm in Spain <laughs> without the <laughs> S. Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in. Sh- oh, he's in the pain. Arc. Oh, he's Don't in worry, guys. Ain. Naruto. He's in Ain. That's right. Forty-seven. From Finn Jake Ten YT. Would you want your first kid to be a boy or a girl? I don't care. I'll flip a coin. That's tough, dude. I'll just let that one fall where the cards may, baby. I would prefer Isn't to that have all one of them each. Guy? Isn't that all of them are? Yeah. I, I mean, like, I've never had a boy or a girl, yeah, so I don't really know. I'd prefer to have one Gun of to your head, guys, or gun to the baby's head. I'll say boy who? then, Jesus. Who are you picking? Okay, you have happy? to pick one. Um... I'll pick boy, so that way the boy, and hopefully I get a girl afterwards, can be a good protector for his little sister. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that, too. Hey! <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> hey? Something better! Okay, then I want a boy to be a good single brother, because I'm never having other kids, so he's just going to grow <laughs> up and be a... Good I'm going to take brother. him fishing and... And teach him how to do stuff. That's it. There you go, Sky. And that's Sky that. Got it. Good job. Thanks. Um, <laughs> dang, I, I probably pick girl, <laughs> so that you can be a good older sister to the brother. I don't. I, I, I want. <laughs> I have another kid. There you go. <laughs> what if you get a boy? Do you just gonna give up? You gonna give pick? Up? You gonna <laughs> pick? Gonna give up? You gonna pick what you're shooting out? Oh man! <laughs> you gonna only... give up? You gonna give up? Yeah. You lose them. You're like <laughs> you just press the button. You're in like your brain. you're like oh, oh, that's a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one's gonna be an X, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do Xbox. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's going to be the PlayStation 5. We are cold shooting wise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Next question. You got this one, Zay. When people give you podcast questions at the last minute, how does it make you feel? Bad. Who did it come from, Zay? Uh, it came from OKK. I think, it, I think it's funny. I like it. I'm trying to be done here. I'm finna trying to play some Call of Duty with my boy saying, dude. I think it's great. It's too late, Cole. <laughs> I'm finna go to bed soon. But Cole, you can't go to bed. I need you to help me. All right, Sky. Oh, uh, sorry, next one, Sky, next one. man. I like, I like questions at last minute. I think it's cool. If you got hurt and could only choose one of the boys to be your long-term caregiver, who would you pick? Oh, tits. Oh, freak. Wait, is that for us? I pick... Oh, crap. I was going to pick Zay because he's got f- experience in the field, but Skylar also took classes on that stuff, too. I think I, I've got to go with Zay still, though, because this is more recent. Even though he's just a receptionist. No, I'm not a receptionist. <laughs> I'm not. That is a common misconception. <laughs> I am not a reception. Wait, okay, take it back. Be, wait, no, Zay's willing to look at butts. I pick Zay still. Nice. <laughs> I pick Zay too because Cole can't look at blood. I don't like blood. Cole's Cole would be a terrible Shoot. caregiver. I'd be a bad one. Yeah, Cole. That's no offense to you, Thane, but your jaw's wired shut, and you're in pain right now. So I'm not picking you. I don't Thane, think they, I don't think Thane would take good care of us, regardless. Yeah, Thane, yeah. I probably wouldn't pick you regardless. I'm sorry. No, Thane would be a good food giver. I I pick Thane to get my yeah, food. Yeah, but like, you're yeah, not you, gonna... you want to get freaking takeout <laughs> twice a day. For yeah, the and then show. you're you're gonna get really As big. Veggie, you're, you're gonna, gonna get very there. big. Yeah. He's not gonna work out your leg muscles either. No, but Zay would probably cook me some good healthy food. Yeah, yeah. Zay, you win. Thank you, Zay. Thanks for being a good caregiver. I probably had to pick Sky. Because he could look at blood, like you said. It's a shame you can't pick yourself. Take care of yourself when you're just deathly oh, ill. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, if you were you, you could just pick you, you know. That would be the best way to go, but you can't. That's when the clones come into place. No! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Full That's a clone! <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. So... Number 50 says, what is one collection that you couldn't handle a potential GF slash wife having in your shared space? Plants. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just oh. kidding. That was too good, though. That was too good. Kobe, oh, man. He got you. Roasted. <laughs> That's a plant. I know. Maybe like a tonal collection. <laughs> That's it? That's uh. what's kind of nasty. Oh. Or like hair? Oh, oh! I thought. Okay, I got. Never mind. Never mind. 
Nope, not going to say it. You're toe gonna, nil, were you going to say toe nil jar. female? Oh, were you going to say female products, used ones? Oh, no. What the oh. freak? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Help me. Um, what would you say, Sky? Gee, I don't know, man. I feel like if she's going to put up with my crap, I should put up with hers. But if she has like a collection of like just grotesque things like poop or something, <laughs> like, like what? I don't know. I know. That's like, what I'm saying. It's like, gotta be realistic. I don't think girls are gonna have toenail clipping jars. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. I don't think so either. <laughs> but you never know. No, what if it's like? What if it's like? Um, man, what if she had like a bunch of? Um, I don't know. Like, what if she had like a porn collection? Just even like. Three, four, four terabytes, just four thousand gigs of just. No, but it's gotta be porn. out. It's gotta be out in the open, like stuff that's kind of just all over. In oh, your shared space. Okay. So one of the things I thought of was be like shoes. Like I would say that's a pretty common thing that girls collect, but I think it's just because they like to have a bunch of different shoes. The only problem I would have with that is just how much space they would take up. Like I know my stuff takes up a lot of space, but like we'd have to. Like, it'd be ideal to get, like, a separate space for the shoes. Then it'd be okay. But if you're going to put all those shoes in our closet, I don't know about that. That's not enough room for my shoes, too. You know what I mean? Do you have that many shoes? I got, like, four or five pairs total. Oh, you're fine. She can take up the other Oh, hundred. I know, but, like, <laughs> there's other stuff that goes in the closet, too. I'm just saying. Like what? If she's got a lot of <laughs> shoes, let's get her, like, a shelf for shoes. A shelf? A shelf. shelf. A shelf. Yeah, get her yeah. garbage can. Throw all the shoes in there. What? She won't. And like then that. burn them. Then and then she's gonna throw away all my Pokemon's. And so I will. Cry. I thought of a good one, but it's not I necessarily. Now she, you come home. I decided to get rid of all those little plastic things. They took up a lot of space. <laughs> it's like your whole collection. <laughs> like, like, your no, whole life. <laughs> my Pokemon's. No. <laughs> That'd be actually kind of funny. That'd be really funny, actually, dude. <laughs> be a good skit. Wink, wink. Uh, wink. uh. It's a plane or a helicopter. What are you listening to? What? Just lands on our house. <laughs> That's the other rat cats. Somebody upload this podcast. <laughs> no, somehow, somehow the audio makes it out. And there's like something that's landed like in our house or like fell through the roof or something. Pretty cool. Um, I think the one thing for me would probably be, I just had it too. Um, helicopters. Oh, what the freak. Shoes. Probably like uh, like pizza boxes or like trash or like candy wrappers. Oh, that stuff. Yeah. In our shared space. How about space. like people that collect those like Mountain Dew cans because they got different like looks to them? You know, they're used by the way, not like full. Well, if they uh, clean them out like with water, they don't up. stink that bad. It's not that they're stinky. It's just they're that just, it's garbage. There. The fact that it's just <laughs> garbage. Cole, you wouldn't have liked my room in high school. Were you I, one of those guys? Probably. I had probably a wall up to this high of Arizona cans. Oh wow. Yeah. By I the way, that people, many. that's like four feet tall. I had like that many, bro. Not even kidding. Like, and I had a fan in my room. Whenever someone turned the fan on accident, it would just knock them all. Throw like, them all I over. understand that like a lot of people would think my collections are garbage, but legit, that is garbage. <laughs> That's something you should be putting in the garbage can. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's like, treasure. I can understand like some of the collectible ones, but don't open them and drink them and then stack them up. Like there are like maybe like a bottle with a cap on them. That's a little bit more of like a can. Say an aluminum can, and it's got like Master Chief on the side, and you want to keep it. You drink it, yeah, yeah. Clean it out. You put it on your shelf. You just you you have a garbage on your thing. If you would have opened it, it probably would have been a lot better. I think though. We got garbage on our shelf. Then according to you, there's a Kiss bottle up there. Well, that's what I said. If it's like a closed bottle, it's a little bit different. It's drank. I know, that's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, but I closed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking like aluminum cans. You're not closing that thing. It's already broken. It's open, you know? You're never closing it again. It's, I don't know. That's not the greatest example, but you guys get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought of one, um, and this is going to sound interesting coming from me because I'm a fan of this, but I think if a girl had like an excess collection of piercings or tattoos... Like, don't get me wrong, I love tattoos and I love oh. piercings, but having, like, too many is definitely something that I find unattractive, but that's just a personal opinion. But that's not your shared living yeah, space. I was say shared living space. What, her body's mine. If we're married, <laughs> oh my, my God. body's hers, her body's mine. We share. This sounds 
kind of sus. What? Isn't that what getting married Hashtag is? Hashtag vote red out. You give Sky's yourself red. up. Vote Sky. him out. I saw him Sky, bent. Well, she's, well, the question is about living space, not about each other's bodies. Oh. Well. Yes, sick perv. I saw him vent into that girl's earring. Well, I damn. Saw, saw that guy <laughs> bent into that girl. <laughs> he bent yeah. right on in. Yeah. Infidelity. Yay. <laughs> In the belly? Yeah, no, I said yeah. infidelity. <laughs> in oh the belly. In the belly sounds great. In the belly. In the belly. In the belly. <laughs> I vented. Yay. Thanks for those questions, Colby. Yeah. I don't know the answer to it, apparently, because I'm not allowed to say body bodies. It's <laughs> well, I, I, I guess. It. It's, okay, I mean, guys. Sure, yeah, you want to. I guess things, for, you, things you look for and don't look for in a guy that is like a, uh, yeah. an opposite. Okay, I just don't want... Hell, I don't know. I don't know what I don't want. I'll find out. If I date a girl and get married or we move in together and she's like, well, damn, I got a collection of elephant turds. I'm like, well, <laughs> shoot, I guess I'm in for the long haul. Honestly, probably if she had like a lot of, I know it's probably going to offend you, but if she had like an excess amount of like anime, like DVDs or like figurines, stuff like that, like body pillows, all that stuff, I couldn't do it. Oh, yeah. I'd, 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 really be, I'd be chill. I'd be chill. I'd For be chill. me, I couldn't do it. If she's like an ex- if it's one or two things, that's fine, or like a few. But if it's like all over, it's like our house is just like a bunch of yeah. action figures and stuff. What I'm if like, she can't, can't get off this, to you, man. though? Like she can only get off to anime. <laughs> I think that's where I draw the line. Oh, like, that's you know where it is, though? If I can't please you, like then I'm worthless. Just No, she just has you put on like a freaking, um, uh, she has you put on like an anime mask or something. You, well, you, cosplay, you cosplay as the character. Yeah, you're the guy. You have to have the accent and everything. Okay, that would be fun for like a day, but I don't want it to be like every single time we're going to Pound Town, I and have she, to dress up as Sasuke Uchiha. You start kissing her. You start kissing <laughs> you start, her. You start kissing her. <laughs> she and, goes, and she's like, for you to progress, you have to do you know, she the goes, thing. She goes, okay, pretend to kill me now. Oh, very good, Sasuke. Very good. You killed uh, me. Yeah, I draw the line there. Nope. If I can't please my woman without dressing up as freaking some <laughs> anime guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Imagine having to dress up every time uh-huh. you. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> you know that there's there's people out there that are like oh, that. Oh, definitely, that's, definitely. That's a real yeah. thing. Hey, man, if that's your kink, hey, by get out of no. If if that's your thing, and you feel horrible about it, but the girl's great or whatever, she's attractive. Get out of it. <laughs> get out of the relationship. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Get out of it. But if that's not good for you, if you're happy and she's happy, or if you're the one that can't that can only get off to anime girls and you want her to dress up as an anime girl, and but you you're both her, cool and, with it, and you put her through that, I guess. I mean, if she has, if she's okay with it, like, imagine, like, in a way, like, it's like you're not good enough. You have to be something that's else to be good like, enough. Well, it's like, well, what if she just beats like, it to anime characters and she'll never have sex with you? Then it's like that's like you're some serious, worthless. That's like some serious like mental. Um, I don't know, like gymnastics you have to perform to be able to like, okay. No, no, quick solution. She just loves me when I put the mask on. Quick solution. Oh, that's the quick solution? Yeah, or just. You write you write your own name in the death note? Yeah. In the death notebook? Yeah, just take me, Yaruk. Yaruk, take me to the Shinigami room. I thought it was Ryuk. <clears throat> Ryuk. Yeah, you're right. No, you're thinking of Roku. Yeah, Roku, which is the sponsor of today's episode. <laughs> Thanks, Roku. Thanks, Crackle TV. By the way, guys, my beard is so itchy as hell, but I find myself, like, rubbing it and pinching it. I still hate it. And I look dirty. I, I just look gross. Cole Dude. even told me today. He's like, wow, you just need to shave it. Legit, someone told me today, as I was leaving work, he's like, he looked at me, like I saw when I work with, he's like, no shave November? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is no shave November. And this is the longest I've ever grown it. He's like, looks good. Yeah, I I thank him, you, sir. This is what I told this guy. Thank today. you, man. I was like, thank you, you know, guy that said that. I said, I'm like, you know, I like a, I like to have a beard. Zay could probably keep his beard. Skyler, you should totally shave as soon as you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Skyler's like, yikes. Boober <laughs> told me, did you guys see the chat Boober and I had? He's Are you like, guys gonna? Uh-oh. Oh, I, I was like, no that, offense, yeah. but you should shave your face. And I sent, <laughs> I sent Will <laughs> Ferrell crying. He's like. Michael Scott, or Michael, Michael Scott, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> yes. And Boomer's like, I love you, no homo. And then I said, okay, thanks. And I sent another <laughs> gift, and I was crying. Yeah, I know it's disgusting. It's not my fault. Hair doesn't grow on my face normal. Yeah, maybe you just get just get trans just get uh, hair transplants from like your pubes to your face. There you go. They're the same. Because right? it's worth it, right? <laughs> I've never had hair on my face my entire yeah, life. Yeah, dot to bio. <laughs> and the the month I try to grow it out, I just get roasted. This operation is worth it. Thank you. But you know what? 
the the episode's gonna be sponsored by Manscaped for when you grow out your facial hair and you want a nice shave, dude. Um, that'd be perfect timing. Are you, are you guys? No, maybe I shouldn't talk about it on the podcast. But I was gonna say, are you guys really gonna take it off after the month's over? Oh, that's right. Yeah, after the but month's over. That's guys, right. Guys, thanks for listening to episode ninety-five of the podcast. This was a two-hour-long episode. You're all effing welcome. Yeah. Hope you guys listened to all of it. Yeah. First episode with Cole back. If you did it, you guys are in trouble. Go check out the latest video we posted on our YouTube channel. That wasn't this one. It was about Darksiders 2. It was actually Brigham OT's, Brigham Ott's acting debut on the Radcats channel. And he, we painted his body, and he we was dead. We humiliated him. We didn't paint him very well. <laughs> no. We gave him a, a no. drink and some chips. Yeah, he didn't earn it. And he gave it hey, back, honestly. He didn't even. 69's Combat Power Zubat. Let's go. All Look right, guys. That. Time stamp the moment when Cole nice. said he wants to 69 with the Zubat. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty sus. Oh, no. I'm a freak. Time stamp it. If you get listen to this, time stamp it. <laughs> guys, Thank you. Have a good rest of your weekend or week. I don't freaking know. Enjoy um, Thanksgiving. Or if you're on a month long, long, month long uh, vacation or holiday, do it. Love you guys. Yeah, have a great Thanksgiving if you're an American. And, and if you're not, celebrate American if Thanksgiving. If you're doing your best to keep it rad, then we love you too. Also, we're streaming tonight on Twitch. Come check us out. Twitch.tv slash Radcats. Bye. And follow all of our social medias. <laughs> Cole's just wanted to end this puppy. I'm just like out of it right now. I gotta go make a thumbnail now for the boy. I sent you pictures earlier. I know. I didn't do anything. Bye. Love Good night, guys. Keep it-